And greetings, Internet, on this lovely Tuesday evening from a actually somewhat cool South Florida, although maybe it just feels cool because yesterday was so warm. 
but uh, tonight it was today was really nice. It was kind of windy, and now we are getting ready for some BattleTech action. Um, I just did want to during the um, countdown timers where we're getting ready to get started here. I noticed uh, my stream <laughs> stream elements bot didn't actually uh, do the whole going live thing. At some point, I need to fi actually program a, a bot, so I have to figure out whether or not I'm going to do like a resplendent bot or a uh, serif bot or a uh, robo serif or a cyber serif or something like that. And literally, cat, I have. So I just went live, and guess who stumbles out of her torpor? Hi, cat. Hello. Come here, kitty, kitty. Come on. Come on. Now, I just got started, so I'm not going to give you anything downstairs or anything. I will give you a pet, though. She's down at my feet and getting a pet because she's awesome, although she has the worst timing possible. Uh, so I get home. I take a nap with her. I get up. I see if she wants food. Nope, doesn't want anything. It isn't until I hit go live and get in front of the microphone that she has decided that she is going to get some attention. So that's all right. Well, if you want to play cat, you're going to have to wait till after stream, unless you count my feet as toys, in which case, uh, you know, you're certainly going to have your toys. Okay, you're just going to sit there and make me be really, really awkward. But you know what? That's fine. She's going to cuddle on my feet, apparently. So without any other distractions or delays other than those imposed by my little chaos gremlin, otherwise known as Cleopatra the cat, we're going to get started here with a little battle tech. Last time, as uh, we go into the in-game and fire up the game, Last time we played this, we uh, we dealt with the onslaught of Ostergard, uh, Commodore Ostergard, and the rest of the Torian forces as they have intervened on behalf of the Irrigan dictatorship, uh, Director uh, Espinoza. Well, the Irrigan Directorate is what they call themselves. But uh, so, yeah, that was interesting. Now that the Torians have thrown their weight behind things, not just in supplies, on backroom deals and smuggling, but now that actual Torian units are involved, that really does change a lot of the calculus for the war's outlook and strategies they have to employ and everything else. To which Lady Centrella had to implore Lady Arano, don't take the field against this asshole. He's going to try to goad you. Don't, don't take the bait. And so instead of taking the bait, she's going to pay us to be in her place in a lot of these types of deals. So that was what happened last stream. That kind of gets everybody caught up on the events that we're about to deal with here. We're still at Smith and after sort of successfully defending it, we did help a bunch of civilians get away. We didn't save everybody. Unfortunately, the Torians did blow up one out of the three dropships, but we still got most of the dropships away. <clears throat> And so that was that was unfortunate, but still mission successful. And now we're heading to Mechdor. Uh, we're going to Mechdor to check out the. Now I remember. We're going to Mechdor to check out the black market to try to help bolster some of our equipment. When any luck, we'll find another ER small laser. Maybe we'll even find some plus variety ER medium lasers and we can continue to improve the quality of mechs that we bring into battle. And obviously, the better the mechs, the easier the missions go. It's just kind of how this goes. Plus, our pilots are getting better. Now, for the most part, I think our pilots have mostly sevens and eights and just about everything. That, I mean, that helps. You're not missing as much. We're upgrading the gamma pod. Once we do that, structurally, the entire floor plan of the Argo will basically be restored and we can, uh, oh, we did a contract to get to Mechdor. Well, okay, free transit is good. Let's see what we agreed to. So we're gonna bring our Highlander, our Atlas, our Marauder and our Archer. That sounds like a great plan. Yeah, we'll bring Ice Tray because we do like having the multi-shot. Although we will bring Medusa, I think. I guess it doesn't really matter much in the grand scheme of things. Maybe it actually makes sense to have Behemoth in there because we're not using Medusa's sensor lock in a missile boat. That's fairly silly. Although having him as the master tactician does allow us to use the stability damage of those LRMs 
to better effect before the rest of the party comes. All right, so we're doing a pretty tough urban battle. Let's see what we got. I'll read out the mission brief. Since I, Seraph, also don't exactly remember what mission we signed up for. Sorry, I was fiddling with the microphone. Didn't mean to talk like William Shatner on purpose there. Our intelligence confirms a lance of directorate military units is engaged in maneuvers on Mector within a region we control. Uh, so we're doing a, we're going battle against the directorate again. This is an aggressive action and restoration operations are at risk as long as this lance is allowed to move unimpeded. Hunt down the enemy lance and eliminate it. Should be a straightforward battle, Commander, and nothing we haven't handled before. Fighting a military lance. Um, now he says in a backwater like this, we're, we're literally in a mega city, so that doesn't really kind of fit, but... Go, Darius. <clears throat> yeah, Mector is one of the more industrialized, urban, populated planets in Regan space. At least if I'm remembering it correctly. Once we get to the, um, God, I can't, I can't even move because <laughs> of this cat. Oh, you're good. You're good, kitty, kitty. I know I love you too. You just lay your head right back down. Don't bite my foot. I love you. I, I do. All right, we've got them, Commander. Right out in the open. These guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them, take them out. I don't see them. That's good. Good hunting, Commander. Oliveira out. It's about time we saw some concrete. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard Medusa say that. All right, so I guess what we'll do is we'll just continue to go down this street, and then we'll advance down this street and see what we've got. Should be fairly straightforward. Yeah, we'll just take the Atlas up this way. Enemy detected. We already got a mech, huh? Let's see. Do I want to set him up in a... I think I can make it through there. So, yeah, let's... On my divide way. and conquer here. All right. That being the case, maybe I shouldn't have rushed up that way. Oh, I thought for some reason I was going the Archer first. <laughs> Seraph, apparently not awake yet. Doesn't really change anything. This works for us. Moving in the medium phase, so we got a medium mech we'll reserve. Unless that was a light mech going in the light phase. Yeah, it was a light mech going in the light phase. We got one 30 ton mech. 40 ton mech. Alright, so light and a medium. Right, now that we're in the heavy phase, let's see what's doing. These guys are out in the open. I hear ya. Yeah, let's just go up here. It's probably gonna have a decent amount of evasion, but let's do it anyway. Let's you advance with ya. the Marauder. Take a nice shot at whoever this is. An assassin. Yeah, with all that, let's just. We're not going to shoot with those PPCs. That's, well, actually, we could shoot one of those PPCs and not generate that much heat. Let's just whittle away some evasion and maybe we hit it. Yeah, we, we hit it a little bit. Oh, and we hit its head. Go figure. I love these urban environments. And of course, with all the stray shots, I just did a shit ton of damage to that building. Oops. Oh my god, I almost knocked over that build. I almost demolished that building. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, this poor bastard. Uh, yeah, let's just Moving advance. Out. I mean, we're going to hit it with 70% of our missiles. This assassin's going to take some serious fire, actually, precision strike. Yeah, let's hit it with almost everything. In the same location. Locked let's go off. for it. Even though it's only taking half damage, that's way too much damage that it can pretty much settle. And I probably will clear its evasion. Oh, I only did not clear its evasion. Let's jump. Oh, we can't. We can't jump up there really well. Yeah. All right, well, we can't hit it with any of that. Let's just advance over here. We'll just shoot it with an LRM-15. That's fine. Hmm. Oops, Seraph left his phone in the other room yeah sure shoot it more 
that's where having breaching shot would have been really good for, my, for that main character. I'm still thinking long term, it's going to be better to have the master tactician and be able to go first. But at least at the moment, I've had more and more cases where I'm like, man, if I had if I had done this differently, I'd feel differently about this. Like, same thing. I mean, he's going to have breaching shot and that Roger that that mech being defended, uh, being guarded and braced or whatnot wouldn't have even mattered. I'd still be doing the same amount of damage with these LRMs. In his case, he just doesn't have enough enough XP yet. But he will. So we've already damaged that assassin a pretty good amount. Ah, uh, Javelin. Really? The Javelin didn't fire on the Marauder? That's interesting. It's a pretty, okay, volley of LRM fives. Could be a Kentaro. Wow, really? Um, yes, Commander. You know what? We'll just fire right from there. That is fine. Shoot the Javelin. You're only moderately defended. <clears throat> I'd rather do more damage to that because I'm doing three damage instead of two. There goes that building. Yeah. <laughs> that building wasn't last. That, that building wasn't lasting long. Not with these mechs so close to it. Can you imagine being one of these office buildings while it's mechs show up? It's like, oh no, here we go again. It's like a little mini Godzilla movie every time mechs have a combat in here. Good to go. All right. All right. Let's just go here. Ooh. All right. Moving out. Let's see what that is. Ah, Marauder. All right. Oh, I don't have precise shot. Okay, fine. I don't want to do this. Let's just multi-shot here. Okay, so B, and we'll shoot each of these with C. That works. Actually, we'll just toggle that off. And we'll just do, yeah. We'll just do breaching shot with each of these. That works for me. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Right, there we go. Do some more damage to that mech. There we go. Generate a minimum of heat. Although even if I had the resolve for it, I probably would have done vigilance instead of precise shot anyway. Just because again, I was firing on multiple things. Yeah, enjoy your shots at the Marauder now while you can. Ooh, cat left. Aha. I can now actually get comfortable now. I'm so accommodating to that cat. <laughs> I'll I guarantee she's going to start meowing now. Hey, kitty, kitty. What do you want? Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go up here. And then we just have to figure out what I'm shooting at. And of course, I have to be careful that this building that only has 100 hit points doesn't take too much damage. Line to shoot the assassin here and just take the assassin out. Although I could start putting a hurting on that marauder. But no, let's let's take out the assassin and just be done with it. I don't think that LRM-15 is even going to be necessary. Let's see. Leo, hey, give me one second. Yo, that's not a toy. Hey, yo. I've never had her try to do that. All of a sudden, uh, the, the cable that runs to my LED lights, she was starting to like bite at it. I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, normally I play with her before stream, but today she had slept all evening. Here we go. Okay, now she's happy with her mouse toy. Okay. 
Yeah, you get your mouse? Yeah, you get your mouse? You're a good girl. Okay, now we can figure out what I'm doing with this. My apologies. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, we may as well just not generate any heat. We'll just keep those SRMs because I've got plenty of LRM ammo. Let's just destroy this assassin. Yeah, that's the end of that. I had a feeling. I actually was thinking I would hit some of the javelin with uh, stray shots. Just didn't happen that way. Orders. Yeah, this stinks. All right. Let's just advance and shoot you with the LRM-20. We'll do a little bit more damage with the... Actually, I probably should just shoot the Marauder. I actually was sort of debating whether or not to just sprint the Atlas. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a little bit more. Let's shoot it a little bit more. Maybe we'll destroy that leg, although I didn't do any damage to the leg. But we'll knock over the Javelin in a second. That's the problem. <laughs> I just did some damage to that building. I can't stay on this building for very much longer. No, we got a 90 ton mech, probably a Cyclops. Yep, I was right. That's actually kind of a cool mech. We should try for that. We should absolutely try for that. So we're already at four on three, although the terrain is definitely working in their advantage. Yeah, whoa, kitty kitty. You good girl? Hello, cat. Yep. You a good cat? Okay. Let's shoot the Marauder. We'll start working on the Marauder. What I may do... That's definitely where that ordinance should go. Good, we already blew past some of the armor. feeling you go after the marauder i've got to get glitch into cover here Minor damage commander Nothing before she starts here. taking too much damage the nice part is the marauder can just stay at long range and i can skirmish from those woods oh we wait marauder javelin cyclops and that oh does that mean reinforcements or did i count wrong man they're really starting to damage my marauder now And now they're in cover because they went there. Yeah, they must have reinforcements. Because I already destroyed a mech. Damn it. Yikes! That hit hard! Yeah, I know. Good to go. We need to get you we need to get you into cover, first and foremost. So once you're there, that will help mightily. You know what? We'll just go here for right now. Let's just go here, destroy the javelin. Uh Yes. All right. Perfect. Go here. Destroy the frickin' javelin. At least they're doing damage for the most part all along it. But now I'll be in cover and still out of sight. So most of these other units can't shoot at it yet. Yeah. Just deal with this javelin. Please put this javelin out of our misery. There we go. That's enough out of that javelin. Mech destroyed. We're warming up here. Yeah, no surprise that they would pick on the Marauder. Very similar to Namco and, uh... Namco and Capcom. I mean, smart AI units will do that. I mean, we're doing that to them. That's exactly what we're doing. How much, uh... Yeah, this building still has a decent amount, but you know what? Let's not fuck around. I'm gonna come here, and let's... We're not going to fuck around. I'm just going to core this Marauder and be done with it. Uh, Darius, those aren't directorate colors on those units. Ah, Torians. Yep. Unknown mercenary force. You are intruding on a joint Torian and directorate operation. Withdraw or you will be destroyed. Now, fuck you guys. Commander, I think our employers might have given us, <laughs> might not have given us the whole picture here yet. Thank Darius. Uh, we'll need to engage and destroy the Torian forces as well. But this is why it had so many skulls on it. It's okay. Let's deal with the Marauder here. Alright. Now we could really start hammering this Marauder. 
So yeah, it's actually eight on four. Well, right now, seven on four. Damn it. All right, they blew through the Marauder's armor way daylight. too fast. Ready to get it on. So. Good. Now we kill the Marauder. Roger. Had enough of this shit. Yeah, let's let's not even fuck around. Target Try and get confirmed. rid of this Marauder. Once the Marauder's gone, the whole oh my god, we didn't destroy that fucking Marauder? Dear God, you gotta be kidding me. The problem is the Marauder's making the enemy overall much tougher. Much like our Marauder is. Of course they're picking on it. And of course they injure glitch. I hate that head injury mechanic so so much. Uh, how close are you to death? All right, center torso. All right, I think instead we're going to go to the Cyclops. I may need to go downstairs to give Cat a treat or something here in a second, folks. Give me just a second. I know we just kind of started, but... Um, yeah, let me deal with that. All right, let's fire on the Cyclops. A lot of that's in there. Let's see what we can do with this. Wow, we didn't even tear through the frickin' Cyclops' armor. And we got a quick draw. Yeah, the Torian Lance is all heavy. But that is not good. Waiting for orders. Oof. Alright, the left, the right side is, is pretty banged up here. So, let's do that. We'll point it at, right? Yeah, we'll point the left over there. That's fine. Alright, we'll protect that side. Let's see if we can at least finally destroy the stupid um, Marauder here. Here we go. There we go. We finally dealt with that Marauder. That was the problem with. Oh, Enemy hello, down. cat. Oh, never mind. She came back upstairs. I guess she discovered she had food in her bowl after all. <laughs> Good. And it's not firing at the Marauder. <laughs> Send me a real mech warrior. Okay, you know what? I think we should do the same thing, though. We're just going to stay put, target the Cyclops. Although, what I should do. The Cyclops. Have... This is not the Marauder I think it is, or the Cyclops I think it is. Now, nah, this is the shitty version. Yeah, we could just core this thing. This isn't all that important. Yep, let's destroy the Cyclops. This is actually the more heavily armed Cyclops. Wow, I think we missed with a lot of things there. Damn, that was really bad luck. We had an 80% chance to the center torso and half our shit did not hit the center torso. Hey, Deep Fry, how you doing? We did end up finishing East One. Actually beat Dark Fact in one attempt. <laughs> Fortunately, Seraph remembered that battle from uh, from my childhood, and we did pretty pretty well. Uh, so yeah, we took care of uh, we took care of business there, and now we're in East Two. And it looks like I either didn't see your comment right away, or my overlay is being flaky. Hopefully, my overlay is not being flaky. Nope, I just didn't see it right on time. Uh, ah, nice. Ah, you're do doing a first playthrough. Hopefully I have... <laughs> I That game is so much fun. You're going to have a blast. But yeah, those mines, you're going to be doing... You're going to be going to circles in them, most likely. It's it's awful. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste the UAC ammo there. We're just going to fire at this guy and hope some of these hit the... Yeah, if, you know what? Even if we get the right critical hit, we can make this Cyclops blow up. So let's let's hope for some good luck here. We're going for the critical hit. Wow, we one missile, one SRM hit that center torso. Oh, this is terrible luck. Uh, now it's going to retreat. That was terrible luck, man. That's brutal that we weren't able to finish off the Cyclops there. 
That's that much more effort we're gonna have to spend to bring that Cyclops down. Shadowhawk. Yeah, that was our LRM-5. But good, at least now we got them firing at other things. You know what, I almost wonder if we should try pulling back and drawing them in. Because we could, I could go here into cover. You know what, let's do that. Let's go, oh, the damn Cyclops. Mm. All right, you know what? Maybe I'll shoot some, well, that's what I'm gonna do though. We're gonna withdraw. Let's go to the cover here. Try and draw them in. Uh, I have been doing well. Um, my, I'm, at this point, I've all but finished off my neck infection. Um, my actual neck feels pretty good. So everything else is uh, nicely on the up and up. So far, my uh, week at work has been pretty good. Um, yeah, quite enjoyably enjoying the game so far. How's your week been going? But yes, to answer your question, things have been going very well. Things have been going splendidly. I just have to figure out what I'm attacking. You know what? I might just attack the Cyclops here. I feel like that's a waste of ordnance considering how much we've gone after the center torso. Now, you know what? I'm going to have the Highlander go after the center torso and that will finish off that. Let's, let's shoot the dragon. Let's shoot the dragon. Roger. We're going to soften up this guy. Do some damage here. It still feels like a little weird from where it was infected, but... They've got a sensor lock on Oh, sensor lock. That's lame. But, um... How's this building holding up? Oh, no. I gotta get the hell off this building. <laughs> uh... Even that building's not great, but whatever. Let's at least switch buildings so I don't fall with the building, because if they do too much damage to the building, I will absolutely take damage. All right. This time, let's actually hit the center torso. Highlander, come on, buddy. There we go. We could have done that last turn if, you'd, if the RNG had played nicer with us. Wrapping up the work is how you start a study leave in a month. Excellent. Nice. Very nice. Study leaves are important. Yeah, actually, my uni the university I work at, they had spring break last uh, last week. And then for all the local K-12 through schools, they're on spring break this week. Commander? All right, let's see. I cannot. Okay, if I go here, I could shoot that dragon, but I almost don't know if I want to do that considering how damaged it is. So you know what? We're just going to brace and cool off. Sounds smart. Cooling. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that. Fortunately, that archer is taking a lot of stability damage. Not thrilled with that at all. Receiving you. Now what I could do, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to advance and we're going to fuck up this dragon because this all counts as cover. I'm going to go into this cover, into the debris of that building. And this guy is going to regret he ever pulled that shit. Fortunately, the Atlas really doesn't um, deal with heat very well. So I may toggle off some things. So mostly I'm just trying to use the Atlas here to get things attention, but also try to get it into a better position. Once I'm, let's deal with the heat situation. What I want to do next turn is shoot, is fire the AC-20. That's what I'm primarily more interested in. So this, this turn is more about next turn than this turn. We could still get a couple of critical hits. Well, we didn't, but we could have, depending on what was in that location. Shadowhawk's gonna go up there, huh? Yep, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to shoot the Atlas. And you missed the atlas, mostly. That's amazing. <laughs> How do you miss an atlas? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just move back. You know what? Actually, right there is fine. You know what? Vigilance. We're going to vigilance you. Perfect. That deals with that. Perfect. Okay. All of that now is gone. And shoot at the shadow. Or do we just pick on this dragon? You know what? Let's pick on the dragon. Fire. Try and take out that dragon because on that side we might take out its auto cannon. Oh man, we didn't take out its auto cannon. That would have been nice. But at least we've taken out the primary lance and now it's a fair fight. Good to go. Uh, yeah, you're just gonna stay right there. Oh, uh, 
pivot you at least a little bit. Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's do that. And we'll just shoot you with that stuff. Yeah. Shoot the shadow off. On it's not great, but we'll do a shit ton of stability damage to the bastard. Now, unfortunately, Ice Tray goes in the next initiative phase, so I couldn't had him. I couldn't had him going. Fortunately, let's see, you haven't taken any damage yet, but I don't. At this point, I don't even have to be up. I could go to the street now, not even have to worry about that. I think. Well, either way, this is the position to be in. I don't need to have high ground now to target you guys, so we'll go on some more stable footing here. And the question, do I go after the dragon or the Shadowhawk? I think the question is obvious here. We're going to go after the dragon. Open fire. Engaging target. Nice. That was a nice blast in the center torso. We got it. Yeah, the gauze rifle did most of that. Enemy mech destroyed. Perfect. Okay. Now it's four on three. <laughs> oh, a Jager mech. That could put a hurting on us. But Jager mechs, so Jager mechs are glass cannons. They do a lot of damage. Really hurts. Ooh, you bastards. Keep hitting my pilots, man. Aye, aye. All right, but now, now I'm in cover. And this is where you guys Moving will hate your lives. I guess the question is, do I go after the Shadowhawk or do I go after that Jager mech? Uh, well, we're gonna make it. Wow, that is virtually. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't know why I'm had such a terrible. Oh, probably because of the angle. The darn building is giving it cover. And do I shoot it once just to do it? Or do I precision strike the Shadowhawk? Yeah, let's precision strike the Shadowhawk. Fuck this guy. You 12 heat. And you generate 12 heat, so it's about the same. Let's reduce the... Yeah, let's just take away one of the medium lasers. And fire! Even it. if this thing doesn't... Okay, it, but it didn't survive. <laughs> I figured even if it did survive, we'd knock it down. Mech destroyed. Kablam! Take that! Now... Standing by. Oh yeah, I'm just going to stay right at right there. Precision strike. Hit <laughs> with virtually all of the missiles. And now this Jager mech is really going to hate its life. Wow, we really did hit with 95% of the missiles. All of them but one hit. We just hit it with 39 fucking LRMs. <laughs> oh, yours, buddy. Uh, all right, so... Let's see. Wow, that's pretty terrible. Jump. Wow, that's still pretty terrible. Almost wonder if I go here. Yeah, it really doesn't seem to matter much, does it? Got pretty much that's 50% either way. Oh, for some reason that's a better shot. I'm not sure why, but okay, let's do it. Sometimes why I sometimes will click around just to see where the percentages are is you never really know. Yeah, let's go for it. I can't precise shot it, but let's just see. Maybe we'll get... Perfect. <laughs> like I was about to say, maybe we'll get lucky. Enemy mech destroyed. Love that sound. Enemy mech destroyed. Let's reserve and see if it Got comes it. anywhere near us. I don't think it will. But we Ready can certainly try. Um. Wow. We're just gonna deal with that. All right, fine. You know what? I'll reposition and I'll just lob some LRMs at it. I don't have breaching shot. But if that's all we could do, I'll do that and we'll cool off. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get a lot of a lot of heat back here. I'm totally okay with that. Plus the uh, auto cannon twenty will. Uh, wow, wow, stream element spot. Thanks. You just now figured out we went live. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Commander. Oh, that is too too funny. Let's see. All right. Well, I could go into cover 
I just don't like the idea of going rushing up there when we've got some of this stuff. Yeah, the right torso is what's damaged. So, you know, we could just go there and just do that. But no, I don't like that. Anymore. We're just going to brace you, keep you out of the combat zone for the moment. And once this quick draw comes into play here, then we can shoot at it. That's about roughly what I expected. Oh man, it hit, hit him twice. Heavy fire. Wow, Ice Tray's gonna be in the infirmary for a while. Well, this could be a problem. Nope, it won't be though. Firing more LRMs. At this point, it's the only one left. I'm gonna save my precise shot for something else. Because we're shooting at the left. We're basically focusing fire in a location anyway. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, I would call that a critical hit. Fuck Waiting yeah. Let's see. All right, at this point, when I'm all the way over here, I don't even think it can target me. So I am totally okay with this. We're gonna go all the way out there. Did I turn the wrong direction? No, oh, good, okay. I, I, I remembered that correctly. Good, good, good. Headshot. Boom. That's a kill. Going for the jugular. <laughs> I've contacted our restoration rep to find out why we weren't told about the extra lance. Let's debrief in orbit, Commander. <laughs> Mission successful. And just like that, we got paid to go to Mechter. Unfortunately, we did incur some repair bills, and Glitch and Ice Tray are going to be on ice for a little while. Hopefully, they're not hurt too badly. Yeah, he's injured for 30 days. Oh, I thought Glitch was hit in the head. Oh, I, it must have been Ice Tray that got hit in the head, and I just was thinking it was Glitch for some reason. Oh, Glitch has the cockpit mod. Injury ignored. Man, that's why that cockpit mod is awesome! <laughs> uh, for some reason, the Atlas has a heat sink in the head. As soon as I could get a better cockpit mod, we're going to be replacing that just for that. I mean, he still would have been injured for a little bit of time, but it's not. Okay, can we get any really good mechs completed with this? I don't believe so. We're probably going to take that. Probably going to take the Cyclops salvage, but let's look anyway. For the most part, I usually try not to go with AC2s, although the plus 10 damage AC2 is certainly a more interesting variant. But normally a weapon that takes up six tons and only does 25 damage, even though it's got decent heat with just four, it still generates heat. To me, the AC2 is... I don't find the AC2 is a particularly compelling weapon, personally, although I've had... I've seen discussions where people that know a lot more about this game than I do uh, certainly do think the AC2 is a very, very valuable weapon. Um, so, I mean, my my personal opinion is certainly not the only one. Wow, uh, that's a pretty interesting... Uh, that's interesting. I should. I might want to think about this only because it's a really rare... Is this like uh, Mex XCOM? Yeah, that's, that's, that's not... Yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> that's legit <laughs> that's a good description for uh for this game it is a lot like mech, mech xcom but also uh for the battletech tabletop game it really does play a lot like this so this is the closest thing to the authentic dice and hex maps and everything else layout uh that you would that you would probably find um but yeah they're very similar to, to mech xcom that's that is uh, that is extremely uh, an apt comparison. Uh, so yes, I would I would absolutely say yes. All right, we got to take one of these. Only because they're such rare drops. Um, and the event that I do decide to put together an Annihilator or something that has a lot of ballistic weapons, uh, <laughs> it's three tons, so it's hard to justify putting a targeting computer in and taking three mics to three, three, um, three tons to do that. But at the same time, that is... Uh, that's a lot. Let's see. And yeah, let's just go with the plus 10 damage medium laser. We'll go with that. Plus it still give us decent salvage. And even if I completed that Cyclops, I probably would just sell it anyway. It's not like the other Cyclops variant that has the battle computer that improves the entire Lance's initiative. That 
I would absolutely have uh, taken any and uh, any and all salvage of. So let's take a look here and see what we've got. Let's go to this store. Feel like we've got five million sea bills. First things first. Let's check out the system. Ooh, uh, plus two injury resist. Okay, yes. Yeah, so let's buy that New one. Equipment available. I do think we should take. Ooh, uh, yes. Let's go with that exchanger. New equipment available. That's huge. I actually prefer the exchangers to the heat banks. <laughs> we could buy a mortar. <laughs> there aren't that many mechs that you could mount the mortar system on, but uh, it is kind of cool that you could put artillery on a mech. And we could, could theoretically start putting together an awesome, but again, at this stage, considering the mechs we already have, I don't know what I would replace with an awesome. We're not replacing the Atlas with an awesome. And we're not replacing the Marauder with an awesome. And our missile boat, as you guys have seen, uh, has had some pretty dramatic effects. Yeah, this is the... I mean, so this variant of the Cyclops is better... has better weaponry. Uh, it definitely has better firepower. The Z. This one's the one with the battle computer. Actually, we that could be had for 3 million. That is an interesting decision and here's the royal star league marauder granted we can't afford that we don't even have tr we don't have a prayer of affording that that is an interesting decision we could put together a stalker which theoretically could be a better missile boat than the archer the only difference is it doesn't have the archer's missilery suite but the stalker does weigh significantly more it has an extra 15 tons of um it has an extra 15 tons that we could play with so we could put even more lrms into it on top of the targeting computer it becomes interesting i don't know if that's worth spending money on but it's interesting i don't like that lrm um the medium pulse laser here is an interesting choice Although I generally do prefer, from a personal standpoint, ER weapons to pulse lasers. Although a minus four heat variant pulse laser, that's pretty nice because the pulse lasers do... <laughs> I'll have to add this to my wish list. It's a fun game. Um, and obviously, I'm just going to be doing the campaign uh, with certainty. I might do the flashpoints depending on, you know... Um, I might do the flashpoints. I haven't completely decided yet. Uh, whether or not to run through the flashpoints, but the flashpoints are really fun. We could do that, or I could do a, uh, ooh, a AC-10. That I probably should pick up depending on the mech. New weapon systems and, uh, available. well, I don't really see a whole lot here that's particularly captivating. Uh, plus 10 damage. Okay, that's the really good PPC variant. Let's buy two of those. New yeah, that's a really good PPC. Uh, so the flashpoints are... That the fl so when the game came out, and obviously we're playing the base game right now, uh, and then later on the DLCs came out. So you have the Flashpoint DLC, Heavy uh, Metal DLC, and um, Urban Combat DLC, essentially. Um, and I forget what the Urban Combat one is actually called, but the Urban Combat one has the Raven mech in it, and uh, that has an ECM suite. It it has a completely different mechanic, which definitely introduces a completely different strategy of how you could even play the game. It plays very, very differently. Um, but flashpoints are little mini kind of, not campaigns, but very specialized missions, which have a lot of really interesting conditions. Um, I personally would consider, like if you're gonna get the game, I would get the game of the year edition that has all the DLC already. All of the DLCs are good. Heavy Metal includes a bunch of new mechs, such as the Cyclops. That's where the Cyclops Z comes in. Um, and the Urban Combat one obviously introduces the, the Urban Combat environments, but also introduces that Raven. Every one of them is is pretty is pretty good quality. I would I don't really even would call them DLCs. I would call them more expansions in the more traditional vein of games when they had expansions. Because the original Battletech game, the one we're playing, really is a complete game. The other ones, the others really are expansions on that core concept. 
So, but the flashpoints, if you're doing the story, the flashpoints don't trigger until after you complete the story. Otherwise, it would just be way too complicated. Plus, a lot of the flashpoints happen in areas of the map that you don't have access to yet. Yeah, I don't really see anything else up here. So let's show you. Let's 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 really answer that question. Oh, so obviously we're here in uh, the Oregon Reach in the Civil War area in here. And unfortunately, the black market here didn't really have a whole lot going for us. Here's the Torian Concordat, who has joined forces with these guys. This is just empty space in the periphery where you have a bunch of independent systems. And here's the Magistry of Canopus. But we couldn't travel. I don't I don't think it'll let us. Yeah, travel restricted. So we can't go to any of these inner sphere areas. So here's the Federated Suns, the Capella Confederation, or the um, the Free Worlds League up here. Oh my god. And if you're not really familiar with Battletech, I don't know how familiar you are with Battletech, but there are a lot of really excellent books, and the lore of this game is so deep and rich. Uh, I don't even know where I would... I don't even... I really honestly don't even know where I would get... where I could start even talking about where you, where you would start. Uh, oh, and there's an interesting independent system all in here, Maldive. I'm, I'm sure I noticed that before, I just forgot about it. Maybe Maldive? Probably Maldive, now that I'm thinking about it. So let's see. Command Center. Ah, good, Alexander is still with us. Uh, let's go to the barracks here, and let's spend some XP. Let's see, do I want to invest in health? Let's go with indirect Drain fire penalty. Point. I really do wish I had gone guts and gunnery on this. Although, who knows, maybe in time, that master tactician is going to play. Commander. It is going to pay off. At the moment, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, it's brutal. Yeah, let's go with the plus two health, considering how close he was. Considering he got hit twice. That's a little scary. Receiving you. Good to go. Good to go. Ah, perfect. Let's give glitch. Training complete. Your boost here. All right, well, thankfully, we've got extra pilots. Oh, good, we can do some pirate missions. That's actually awesome that we can do some pirate missions. Also go to the mech bay. Let's repair the Marauder. Yeah, it's only going to take one day. Yeah, wait a minute, let's take a look at some of these contracts. Why not do some of these? Granted, we still have to liberate Itram. That is a fun mission. So Itram is next, but while we're here... Although, we don't even have any money to really spend on, but, eh. We got a destroy base, there's a minor directorate base, and the pirates are going to pay us to level it, so that works. Or hard target. An elite mech warrior has been deployed to take command of Torian forces in this system. We need a skilled mercenary force to remove this mech warrior before they reach their command, while they're only lightly escorted. Every downed mech will help our cause, so there will be a bonus for complete destruction of the target's supporting forces, which is usually two lances. So this would be a nine on four battle, most likely. Additionally, the Mech Warriors Command may send out an escort unit to meet them. Expect enemy reinforcements once you engage. Yeah, that's that's kind of how it works. Uh, I do kind of like... Kind of like the idea of destroying this base and maybe even doing this assassination mission. So let's get our Marauder back. That work order you submitted Perfect. is complete. Let's do this mission while we're here. Since we're here anyway, let's do it. We'll do the hard target first. Ah, oh, wow, they're not really paying me a lot to do it. But yeah, we may as well at least get our pirate rep up. So that things in the black market are even cheaper. Okay. Slam. <laughs> You're going to go in that atlas. You're going to get some XP, my friend. Once it loads, yeah, we'll have another urban combat mission, and then we may do the, uh, we may do the other one. Oh, <laughs> wow! And actually, you had to actually scroll up. That's uh, not gonna. It's yeah, it's gonna have a hard time because it's loading. <laughs> yep. Oh, it just moves up and down. That's pretty neat. But yeah, the Torian Mech Warriors headed to a major military command compound on Mechter, where they'll take command of a company-sized Mech Force and become untouchable. A company is three lances. We're probably going to have to deal with two of them already. A company really isn't. We're only talking about one extra lance there, technically. 
but I get his point. Commander, Intel says the target and their escorts will be moving through this area. Orbital Recon shows a group of military units in the vicinity, and it's a Shadowhawk. We believe that's ob the objective. Take them out and head to the evac zone, unless we take all, all of them. But it's nice to know the evac zone's over there. So if we take them out fast enough, we could actually... So there's the elite mech warrior commander. Here are the forces, and the reinforcements are going to be over here. Hmm. You know, we got that guy over there. We got the Torian forces over here. And it was nice enough to show us where the reinforcements are. Actually, all things considered, I think we're going to go down here and we're going to deal with the reinforcements first. Hopefully, based on where they are, we could deal with the reinforcements before anybody else is even way. within range. Let's just take them out now. Rather than having it be nine on four, let's just do four on four, defeat in detail, and then we'll swing back up and deal with the supporting forces before dealing with the elite one. This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Be careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. That's exactly why I went this way, Darius, but I'm glad you concur. <laughs> yeah, they reinforce. Yeah, I think we're going to encounter these reinforcements pretty quick here. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to have you jump. That way you're braced. I'd rather be defended as if I were in cover. Now, the at that Atlas, I will sprint. I want that Moving in front. Position. We're just going to brace you two. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. I want you guys in back. Yahoo! See? Jump. Jump again. It's a shame there's no cover, but so it goes. I'm guessing we're going to... Wow, we still haven't detected anybody. That's amazing. Well, let's keep running with the Atlas. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Let's see. Where do I want her going? I think we're going to go right there. Uh, don't like the idea of... But with that amount of evasion, I don't think you're hitting me anyway. Moving out. So let's go with that. And you know what? We can just move. We'll just move you and you'll be braced. Location I don't need the archer out in front. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Pulled you guys off your patrol in a hurry. Roger that. <laughs> Yeah, there was no way I was going to go just straight up for that elite mech warrior just so that the computer could then really get me into a crossfire. Like, there's no way I'm falling for that. <laughs> there's no way I was falling for that. Wasn't happening. Oh, and the quick draw may shoot at us. Ooh, it will. Perfect. Yep, there was no way it was hitting the Marauder with that many evasion pips. Okay, so now... Now, let's see what happens here. Let's have Slam. We'll have Slam go first. Really would have preferred to get into the woods, but oh, well. Uh, I don't think I want to shoot that auto cannon 20 with that. Uh, instead. Let's see. Well, that's a pretty good ratio, although the quick draw is braced and all that. It's unfortunate that it's... Unfortunate that it's that yes, protected. Commander. You know what? Medusa, open fire on the quick draw. <laughs> Let's soften it up a little bit. Who knows, if I do enough stability damage to it, I might knock it over. That would be nice. Waiting on you, Commander. Perfect. We'll do that. Dance received. with the Marauder. Give us some other targeting options. You'll take cover in the woods. Excellent. 
Jager mech and a quick draw, huh? Let's see. All right, let's toggle you guys off. Multi-target. Perfect. That will do, and we'll do full damage. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Yep, and it lost its evasive. Oh, oh, you missed the Jager mech. Oh well. Systems recycling for another shot. But we can also toss one of the exchangers we just got into that Marauder. That will help mightily. Standing by. Okay, now. Yeah, now we're gonna shoot that quick draw, and that auto cannon twenty is gonna really fuck it up now. <laughs> Ooh, I could actually precise shot, but I'm not going to bother. We're gonna just knock it over. Locking on target. Yeah, there's no way we don't knock it over. Oh, we just cored it entirely. That works for Seraph. I have played Earthbound. That's one of my favorite RPGs of all time. I kind of debate on whether or not... So it's between three games. It's either Earthbound, Final Fantasy VI, or Persona V. At any given moment, I could make an argument that any one of those three is, is the best RPG ever made. Um, so now that I have an emulator that I got working with Ys, one of the first things I downloaded was the ROM for Earthbound. <laughs> it's the only Super Nintendo ROM I have is that actual game. So funny you ask, Deep Fry. I have in fact played Earthbound. It is such a great game. Oh my God. For anybody watching that's never played Earthbound, it is it is fantastic. Uh, I will absolutely be playing that on my channel at some point just because it's, it's, it's a timeless game timeless classic um it's it's a beautifully made game i'm pretty sure it aged pretty well what so my super nintendo was one of the last of my consoles to die so i have played earthbound at least somewhat recently uh unfortunately all my consoles kind of died love it. it's one of my favorite it really is uh kingdom hearts are pseudo uh sukoden 2 i actually have not played Sui Koden 2. Took me a second to figure out how that's pronounced. Um, Kingdom Hearts is a really good R RPG, uh, especially if you're a Disney fan. Kingdom Hearts is is such a well-made game. Good, very good choice there. Um, what was Seraph doing? Hmm. What do I want to shoot at? It's roughly the same either way. I may as well just shoot at the Jager mech. But uh, I would say I played, so I played Earthbound when I, the last time I played Earthbound was 2013. So we're talking 11 years ago. That's not terrible. Uh, but unfortunately my Super Nintendo uh, finally stopped working around 2013, 2014. And that was just, that was just all, you know, that was just all she wrote. At that point, uh, the console just kind of bought it. Um, what can you do? Really? 60, 60, how about you? 60, well, all right, fine. I guess we'll just advance here and I'll just, yeah, I'll precise shot the Griffin. I'll do more damage to the Griffin here. Let's deal with the Griffin. You need to check out the Sui Koden series, especially one and two. I will, uh, I will definitely do that. I always appreciate good recommendations, especially for games I've never heard of. Yeah, I definitely missed that the first time around. Uh, what platform is Sui Koden for? Is that a Super Nintendo game or um, or is that more PlayStation era? Got it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> that Griffin didn't like that. <laughs> PS1, nice. Feels like that was a lot of missed shots. I think it hit the building more than it hit the mech. Losing armor. Oh, maybe not. Waiting Which, for orders. Get in here and let's let's do some damage. Okay. So we're gonna go up here. And we are going to go for the jugular. Decision strike, Jager mech. Oh yeah. Headshot. Come on. 
Nah, we didn't. We didn't kill the head. Damn. We went for it. We just didn't get it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's see. Wow, I can only do that from up there? That's annoying. Can I jump to cover then? All right. Well, I think that's what we're going to do then. Let's just jump over here and we'll just... Uh, We'll pick which of these two. I mean, I don't want a precise shot, but it doesn't really matter. I think we should just go for this Jager mech. Yeah, let's make the Jager mech hate himself. Wow, we missed with the gauze rifle. It's still going to do a lot of damage. Perfect. Jager mechs, they're terrible heavy mechs. They do a lot of damage, so if you ignore them, they'll rip you to shreds but they have armor of tissue paper. They can't take a hit to save their lives. Standing by. I mean, you saw it. We only shot really once or twice. That was, that was it. Um, right. Yeah, let's just go over here. We'll shoot with three medium lasers and at least with the protection of cover, we'll mostly do a heat cycling turn here. Toggle these off since you're not going to hit for beans anyway. I call this. Well, at least we did more damage to the middle, to the center torso. Got it closer. And through all this, we've actually had a pretty decent skirmish with this, with this guy. And through it all, interesting part. Move into position. Nobody else has even fired on us. And you know the other lances are at least closing. We're just, I'm not firing those medium lasers. Actually, let's not even mess around. Go for the kill shot. Yeah. Scratch another target. Let's just, do you, let's just get rid of the reinforcements entirely. I hope we can solve <laughs> Not even messing around. Let's just deal with that. Hopefully nothing else shows up so they don't get a free turn. That's the only annoying part. If something comes close now after they move, they'll get Essentially, that's a turn they get for free because they wouldn't give us this turn. So thankfully, they did not get a free turn. Now we have to figure out where they are. Destroy supporting forces and the elite is over there. So yeah, we may as well go to the supporting forces at this point. Let's head up here and let's see what we can get. I don't think I can jump to that spot. Nope. So let's just sprint to it. That is fine. Let's sprint up here. Yeah, we'll sprint up there. Uh huh. And sure, you can sprint over here. Reconsolidate the lance, and we'll head up this street. Unless something shows up, in which case we could fight using the woods over here. out there somewhere <laughs> we know they're out there Let's see I think we'll just jump here see what's going on. yep looks like a vehicle blip yeah there they are all right so we got three vehicles and a heavy mech that is probably a demolisher that that guy could be a problem actually no that's probably a um starts with an M. Uh, we'll see it in a second. Seraph's brain isn't working right. Sprinting. Yeah, let's just sprint over here for right now. No. You're just going to move right in here. Don't need to tell me twice. And we're going to let them come to us, I think. No, you're going to brace right there. That's exactly where you're going to stay. All right, entering combat. We'll reserve. Copy that. Let's see, what's this 65 ton? Yeah, cool. Why, well, thank you, Jagermech. How nice of you to expose yourself on the ridge so that we can all open fire on you. And notice those missiles were only doing like one damage a piece. They did like negligible damage. And now we get to return fire. This is not going to go well for this Jagermech at all. 
Roger that. <laughs> That's a lot of incoming firepower. So that vehicle definitely reserved. So that vehicle should have gone first. Not that it really matters, but. But that's why it's going now and not later. I hear ya. Been fire, actually. Just for the amusement of it. Headshot. Tell me what to shoot. I mean, probably won't get it, but. All right. <laughs> but for the chance of just taking it out nice and easy, would have been nice. Because then what I could have done is had Renegade sensor lock that one and just shoot it with the Atlas. Not a big deal. Again, negligible damage. Let's reserve. They can only fire at the Highlander and the Highlander is very, very, very well protected. Ah, that's our elite shooting it. Again, negligible damage. Hey, I like the idea of just going here, I think. Maybe even here. Oh, I can only shoot you with LRMs anyway. All right, fine. Let's just go here. And I'll just shoot you with LRMs. Roger. And we'll knock over the Jager mech. And then I'll get a free precise shot. Locking on target. Yeah, the Jager mech fucked up. Oh, we destroyed its right leg anyway. <laughs> we would have knocked it down regardless of its stability damage. But now for sure he's dead. I suppose I shouldn't be too overconfident, but I can't imagine a scenario where this guy fucking survives this shit. Let's spread out a little bit. Uh, Back up one, face that way. Still hit you with all that. Yep, perfect. Face that. Now, in all likelihood, they won't even be able to target me. Yeah, yeah, let's just, ooh. Uh, or do I go for the head here? Yeah, it's only one out of five shot. Let's try and destroy that other leg. Yep, we got the leg. That's just as well. Enemy mech destroyed. Or rather, just as effective. Well, since nothing's within range, let's reserve and wait for them to come to us. Oh, this poor 35-ton mech. Or er, vehicle. This striker is going to get its ass blasted. <laughs> I'll take half damage. Yeah, let's just shoot you with that. Actually, no. What can I do for you? You fire at that. Because if we hit it with two of the same location. Oh, wow. That's. Mm, no. I'd have to hit the same location twice in order to really punch through with this. That's a lot of locations. Statistically speaking, it's probably not a good heat to target destruction ratio. Standing by. I'm probably better off just shooting you with the archer. Yeah, we got tons of ammo. Oh, okay. Seraph's. Seraph is being very, uh. Good to go. You know what? Let's shoot that. Let's just do that. Special delivery. Definitely have a hard time figuring out what it, what I wanted to do there. <laughs> Continue to reposition. Oh, they got missiles. Of course they got missiles. Well, now they do a little more, but still just doing two damage instead of one. That's negligible, man. Just kind of hoping. 
do more damage than that. So if I go up there, I could shoot at that. I don't like the idea of doing that. Receiving you. Didn't really want to use this, but it's okay. Vehicle destroyed. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Well, thank you. Uh, I like the idea of staying here. Let's see what 35. Mana core. Mana core was that what I was thinking of. I bet you this is a mana core. Sensor lock that. Oh, it is a demolisher. Oh shit. Yeah, we gotta destroy that demolisher. For sure. Ready for orders. Yeah, you're gonna stay right there and you're gonna shoot that demolisher with <laughs> that LRM20. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do everything we can to soften up that target. <laughs> I would prefer that demolisher LBX to not even go. So the LBX autocannon is essentially an autocannon version of a shotgun. It does crazy amounts of damage. Now the only advantage for me if I get shot with it is it's gonna get spread around and not do a lot of damage. Like the AC-10, that's gonna do 100, or in this case, the one that we have mounted on the um, Atlas will do 120 points of damage to a single location. So it just punches through armor like crazy. The LBX tends to spread it around, but you're still taking, in cases like the LBX-20, you're taking 100 damage. That's a lot of fucking damage. <laughs> I don't have it queued up on my soundboard, but I have the sound effect. I'm like, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's crazy. Uh, all right, so this guy's spotting for all this bullshit. Let's, uh... I'm just gonna shoot you. That's gonna be the end of this striker narc. <laughs> Goodbye, vehicle. I could have just shot it with the gauze rifle, but I was worried the gauze rifle would just miss. Uh, yeah, not, not, not gonna play around there. I'm just gonna destroy that. It can't target me, and this thing's gonna have to come down. <sighs> Okay. Commander. Well, fortunately. Okay. Nobody else could really go. So fine. We'll, uh, you know what? Let's just move up here. We'll reposition briefly and I'll brace. That way, if it does peek around the building, so that's the only problem with the initiative order. You can't reserve anymore. It just says done. What I wanted to do is go after this. Now it'll go. Okay, that works. Although I wish I could still see it. Waiting on you, Commander. So if I go up here, I could then shoot it with Medusa. I don't like that plan at all. Let's just move up here. We got a mech there. We got a mech there. All right, I'm going to position here you and we'll just wait for this demolisher and we'll brace. So at least if the demolisher does fire first, it does less damage. Yeah, we're done. Got it. Prefer. I copy. Perfect. Okay. Now. So I've got. Now what we could do is I could just jump. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to jump. <laughs> I'm going to jump. I'm going to do vigilance. And I'm going to try and destroy this freaking demolisher before it can even go. So at least I'm now covered in the open here. And you know what? We're also going to precision strike it just for good measure. That isn't enough. But this should be. Okay, good. We were able to destroy the demolisher without even firing a shot. Thank goodness. We may have given it a free turn because it may no advance. Oh, it didn't. Perfect. All right. Well, that being the case, we may as well just advance on this elite Torian mech warrior. He's going to be up there. Yeah, let's let's go over this way and we'll go up this this route. Position confirmed. Yeah, we'll go up with the Marauder. Ooh. We find him that early. 90 tons, probably a Cyclops. Would make sense. Reposition. And we've got this. 
Granted, it took a little longer than I had anticipated. But we're gonna get there. Serve. Holding. Waiting for orders. Interesting that it's still not going. Hmm. Let's reserve again. We can entice it to go. Good, we got to go. Perfect. Well, it'll be braced, but... What can I do for you? Oh, good. And we can advance. So, you know what? Perfect. Moving out. Advance, vigilance, and fire. Ooh, that's actually a pretty nice Highlander. Okay, fine. New plan. Precision strike. Let's see if we can just get it out right. <laughs> Target damaged. Concentrate well, your fire and bring it down. We tried. Yeah, that's the only problem. We got to it too fast. So the only thing I could do is shoot it with LRMs. But all right, that's what we'll do. We'll shoot it with LRMs. And fire. May as well give ourselves a backup Highlander if we can. Let's see, is that the auto cannon variant? That's the energy uh, variant. Yeah, that's the that that's a nice Highlander variant. Um, so in this game, yeah, I definitely keep the PPC for it. But for Mech Warrior Five, when I've played that, I t I really like this variant of the Highlander because you can stick an ER PPC on it, and it's Good to go. it's pretty it's pretty accurate. Roger. Go in water so we vent even more cooling. And let's knock down this Highlander. Yep, I was gonna say, like, that didn't knock it down, please. <laughs> yeah, in a perfect world, I would like to have. I'm here. I would prefer to have the entire piece of that salvage although we're only going to get two salvage out of this but if we get the entire mech intact i will pick two pieces the two pieces of salvage for that because that's a mech we'll actually keep let's reserve acknowledge glitch yep you are going to advance and go for the headshot This is definitely more logistically strategic in, you know, nature. Well, we hit the head. We just didn't kill the head. Yeah, let's let's try for it again. Headshot. Come on. Because even though all we need is one of these to hit. Oh, and one of them may have done it. Yep, we got the head. Perfect. Enemy mech destroyed. Area's been cleared. <laughs> yeah, we definitely took Mission out that successful. elite mech warrior and then stole his mech. <laughs> Death to the Zentradi. Hey, ghosty. Yeah, no, not my cross. <laughs> yeah, no, not, not my cross. Even though some of those designs look awfully similar. <laughs> Now, obviously there was cross pollination involved with uh with Macross and BattleTech. I think anybody that's that's followed them knows that. I mean hell, you had uh now granted it's not in BattleTech anymore, but you had the um the hell was it called? But the the mechs that could turn into arrow fighters and they were like hybrid uh mechs and, and fighters. The original Marauder was that hybrid thing and I forget what they called it and it took up a certain amount of tons to convert to be a, an aero fighter and a mech that's when it was really obvious that some of these designs were Macross uh inspired so to speak a lot of the mechs designs are original but things like the Marauder or um the Rifleman <laughs> are very very obviously uh Heavily inspired. I don't think there's anything. Ooh, comm system would have been nice. But yeah, we got to go with the Highlander P here. Ah, oh, okay. We didn't get it. But we tried. We tried. <laughs> but how are you doing, Ghosty? Life's good? We're just here playing some Battletech. 
Although you're like me, you you lurk a lot. So so Ghosty and I, for everybody else watching, uh, we, we we consider ourselves pro lurkers. For all I know, Ghosty's been here since the very start of the stream and accidentally typed something. <laughs> I've done that on a couple of his streams. I was lurking for like, I think it was just one of his Street Fighter Six streams. I was there lurking like the whole day. All of a sudden, I like something came up and I was like, "Ooh, I gotta, you know, gotta chime in." And then next thing I know, I'm typing 50 things and I'm like. Yeah, I was pretty engaged, but I probably should have been working a little more than talking to Ghosty on Twitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot the transfer nation names. Yeah, it was like Vertiform uh, Matrix or Vertiform Conversion Kit or it, it, it felt like something like that. But it's been it's been 20 or 30 years since they removed that from all of the documentation. So who, who knows? Uh, good. Just working on some weird song earlier. I'm taking a break though. Ghosty does have a great YouTube channel. Uh, he's, he has some great music. Uh, I love the last one you did. Uh, it's definitely some, um, some strong trance vibes to it. That was some good stuff, man. I, I always appreciate a good Ghosty song drop. Take a look at our mech warriors. We'll spend some XP. Waiting for orders. Team has got some XP, you, but not yes, enough to level. Medusa. Go. All right, there we go. Finally, we're getting there. Eh, Ready, may as well get the overheat threshold. Ready for orders. Slam definitely got some XP. We'll take that. Yes, we will definitely Next take the hit defense training. so you're hit less. Let's see. Do we finally get on with the story in the campaign or do we leave a mark? Uh, ooh, a drop interception. I think we get, I think let's get on with it. We, we don't really need money, so to speak. We, we need to liberate Introp. So we've done enough, we've done enough, uh, yeah, I'd say so. You know what? Let's go to the store. Let's buy that pulse. We'll buy the pulse laser. Ooh, actually. So, okay. Well, you know what? We could just spend a million and get that Highlander. That way we have a good Highlander backup in case the good Highlander takes some damage. That way we've got a good backup just in case. Do I really want to spend a million Seabills on that? Yeah, I don't think so. The medium pulse laser on the other hand. Yeah, we'll we'll buy that. That's a great weapon. New weapon systems available. Okay. So we're good here. Okay. Let's take a look at the mech bay. Let's tinker. I put a snippet in Kara's Discord. Oh, is that the one I listened to? Or uh, or was that a different one? Very early in the arrangement, not even leveled right yet. Ah, <laughs> very, very early in the arrangement. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, the Atlas. The Atlas definitely overheats. Yeah, this I think is what we definitely need to put. Oh, you know what? That's what we should do. We should buy that other exchanger. That was here. Yeah, we'll buy this exchanger. For sure. New equipment available. Uh, yeah, let's just buy the damn cockpit mod. Okay. Now we're good. I mean, we're down to 2 million C bills, but I think that was, that was money well spent. We already have an exchanger in you. Perfect. So let's go in here. Let's refit you. The question is, where are we getting some of this from? All right, let's go to equipment. Put the exchanger in here. So we need two tons now. All right, let's take out the heat sinks from here and here. That's still better heat efficiency, believe it or not. Uh, now what we could do, I just don't know if I like this plan. Ooh, you know what? Let's put the exchanger over here and let's take out one of the heat sinks and let's put this double heat sink over here for now. That will help out with the heat of this particular mech. Okay, that works. That works. Particle cannons overheat sinks. <laughs> That's right. Uh, actually, in Serum Discord showcase. So I finally joined Serum's Discord. I didn't know Serum had a Discord. Uh, I don't know how I missed it. it. It prompts in her chat all the time. But I was like, oh, she's got a Discord. She's got an awesome Discord. Uh, I still have to introduce myself over there. But yeah, that's a that's a happening place. Um. Put new one, uh, the new one to mess around with. Ah, I gotta go check that out then. One mil, break out the pro action replacement and change the price. 
Yeah, pretty chill there. It's nice to find like chill communities and all that. She's done a nice job uh, making people feel welcome. And uh, that, that you could just tell the second you look at it, it's like, oh man, this is an awesome friendly place. She's good people. You know what? While we're at it, let's do some shout outs. It'll be pretty random. <laughs> let's, let's, this is a good time to do that. Hey, and since you're here, <laughs> since you're streaming, since you're a fellow streamer, we'll do this. She'll see the shout out and be like, the hell? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I sometimes wonder if our fellow streamers really see the shout outs and it's like, I wonder what was going on to, to inspire that shout out. <laughs> but since we're talking about her, may as well do that. I don't need a discord of my own. I just invade other people's right. So I pretty much have my own discord, but I think it, it was just to, in case I ever do. Um, uh, but of course, but of course, you know what? While we're at it, let's do again. Just just for the sheer, just for the fear. He's still playing America Truck Simulator. That is a surprisingly uh, fun game. Um, I don't know if it's fun game to play. I assume it's fun to play because I watch him play it all the time. But um, that that looks like it would be a really fun time. Uh, I almost thought about buying American Truck Simulator and then I'm like, I still have to play this. I still have to play that. I still have to play such and such. I probably should get Hell Divers. And I'm like, all right, when I'm when I'm ready to just relax and chill, then I'll then I'll buy it. I've already got like 50 or 70 games in my Steam profile that I don't play. <laughs> I'm very bad at social network maintenance. So I just use the benefits of others work, right? So. Uh, but yeah, my, primarily for the sake of having the channel, uh, one, you know, in, in my Discord for um, for team play. Because at some point I do have visions of playing MechWarrior 5 with uh, Phoenix Nade and Warhammer and anybody else that wants to play MechWarrior 5. Which is funny because MechWarrior 5 objectively, it's really not that great of a game. But for anybody that loves Battletech, it's a great time. Uh, it's, I mean, how many, how many times do you really have the opportunity to run around in stompy robots? So, uh, <laughs> and, uh, so we have fun with that. So that was primarily the, um, the motivation there. I just need to actually do that or any other game. Oh, okay. This, yeah, that's what I should have fucking done. Uh, bad serif. Uh, it's going to make me, oh, well, fine. We'll just put you over there. Actually, we'll put you over there. That way it's two heat sinks of peace. And, uh, yeah, let's put. Injury resist in this cockpit because the Atlas is going to draw a lot of fire. And so for the stray SRM or LRM that hits it, at least I can ignore some of that FU damage. I hate the injury, uh, head injury mechanic for this. It really doesn't punish the AI unless you kill the pilot. It just punishes the human player. Uh, never got to play much of those games. Closest to mech stuff of all was Titanfall 2. Uh, at some point I got to play Armacore. That looked amazing. Uh, I love mech combat type stuff. I just, again, until I actually am inspired to play it, I'm like, mm, I ought to not spend the money on it until I'm actually ready to play it. So that's that's kind of where we're at there. Oh, the, this is not the Ultra Cannon version I thought it was. It's uh, the plus 10 damage, so it's 110 damage, not 120 damage. But we do have a plus 2 hit defense gyro in this thing, so it's going to draw a lot of fire, and it should get missed a lot, or at least when it does get uh, hit, it has crap tons of armor. I mean, it's got 1600 armor on it. That helps. Uh, there's a lot of damaging in armored core though. Be prepared to take lots of damage. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah, I kind of got that. Like, God damn. Uh, actually, hold on one second. Let's just check. Oh, and there's that. See, this would be a good mech for the ballistic targeting computer because the ultra auto cannon would benefit from that. I just can't justify the three tons yet. Unless I get three double heat sinks and I take away three of these heat sinks, substitute these with doubles, then I could toss that targeted computer in here and we'd have ourselves a great time. We'll see. I do want to check though and see if we've got an LRM 15. Yeah, we don't have a good LRM 15 damage variant. Let's check the store real quick just to see. I don't think there's a good LRM 15 variant in here either. Cause that would help us with ooh uh now nah, okay yeah it's it, that would that would that would actually save us some good weight too that's what i do a lot in uh mech warrior 5 uh is i'll just take out the lrm 20 and put a 
improve damage LRM 15 in it. Number one, I save on tonnage, and it allows me to kind of customize the mech more to my more to my needs. Um, and I don't play with too many mods on these games right. that really expand a lot of those options. Although I may do a playthrough in the future where I do download some of those things. And some of those mods look really fun, like yet another mech lab or um, I forget uh, which one it is for this one. It's not 3065 advanced, although that does look like a really interesting mod. There is a mech lab mod for the... Oh, okay, so here's a double heat sink. Uh, let's see, is there a better gyro? Plus one melee hit. Yeah, I'm not substituting that double heat sink yet for that. We already have a cockpit mod in here for that. I would like to substitute that exchanger if I can. How much does that exchanger weigh? Two tons, huh? All right, take away this heat sink. And I guess we'll take away this heat sink. And exchanger, you can go right there. <laughs> All right, so now we can fire, we'd, we'd probably be able to fire these to much better effect. Actually, what we'll do is we'll take away these two medium lasers and we'll put in the better damage medium lasers. Uh, we don't have any ER medium lasers. We put all those on the Highlander that we have. And I don't have an ability. I could put machine guns for free, but I'd still have to figure out where to put the ammo for it. That's all right. Uh, but since we go for headshots, we're going to put in the plus 10 damage, make it a little more likely <clears throat> that we get that we uh, actually get that headshot. <clears throat> And when we get more ER medium lasers, we could always swap that out. Although by the time we get ER medium lasers again, we might find ourselves a Star League Marauder, which is way better than this. And that would suffice. I don't think there are any other double heat sinks we have. No, there aren't. Okay, we're done. We're done here. Let's confirm. I don't think there's anything else to really do. I'll let you know when that's done. I don't think we have any other heat sinks, equipment. I've got a cockpit mod. Maybe I could put a cockpit mod in the in the um, in the archer, but I don't think so. I think this archer. Yeah, we got a comm system in the archer. I like that. So for the most part, the, the archer is kind of out of harm's way. We'll stick with that. All right. We've done enough logistics here. Oh, right. I could actually talk what to these guys. <laughs> so you could talk to Alexander Madeira, and uh, he gives you kind of updates on things. So. You know, let's talk to him about the, the state of the war against the director really quick. Uh, as I said, your victory in Smithen was nothing short of inspirational. You stopped the Torian assault in his tracks, even forced them to withdraw. Such skill deserves all the praise I can offer. And then some. You've done the impossible. Know it. Uh, it's a little premature to celebrate, Lord Madeira. The ship we drove away is probably on its way to do the same thing to other restoration system. You're right, it probably is, and we could do nothing to stop it. We're going to lose people to the Torians, Commander McDougal. A lot of people, and money, and infrastructure, and whatever else you care to mention. At this point, the losses are inevitable. So he's certainly, you know, grounded. Uh, still, we should celebrate our small victories when we find them. We've driven the Torians away from one of our systems. That's downright heroic. At this point of the war, our people need heroes. So I'd advise you to accept their praise for what it is. Uh, Ostergaard has a personal vendetta against Kamea. How are we going to deal with him? <laughs> So long as he stays in this ship, on his ship, we can't. The Iberia is a fortress-class dropship. Even if we could bait it into landing, it'd blow your lance to pieces, to pieces before you even got into weapons range. If I were in your place, I'd take it as a given that we can't defeat Ostergaard. He'll hound us until Kamea is dead or he's called home. And so, that's how we'll proceed. We don't defeat Ostergaard, we survive him. And when Lady Centrella provides us with a way to remove the Torians from the war, we'll have him called back home. So it's interesting. You know, it's not an ideal solution, I know. I'd be more satisfied with killing the bastard myself, but it's a plan, and I think it'll work. That's the best we can do, given the circumstances. That's all I need to hear. <laughs> so I'm not going to, you know, do an endless little oh, talk to these guys. But I should do that more often as we kind of go through here. We still have some ship upgrades to do. Maybe by the time we do the next ship upgrade, we'll uh, we'll talk to um, Calculating Dr. Murad. And I'll start mixing in, talking to them. That way it's not all at once, but we can actually start getting to know the crew a little bit. I probably should have done that. Uh, yeah, reputation warning, the Torian Conquerdot. 
Your actions against our interests are earning you a powerful enemy, Commander. Continue to impede Torian operations in this region, and you'll pay the cost. I got your answer right here, Torians, you motherfuckers. Like, really? Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing, you fucker. Jesus Christ, the nerve of the faction rep. Sit on it, rotate, you asshole. Uh, but on the other hand, the local pirate organization, my superiors thank you for your willingness to take on challenging tasks. You're making an invaluable contribution to the advancement of pirate interests in this region. <laughs> So yeah, if we go into reputation, we could see our rep with uh, pretty much everybody here. So we're indifferent to the Federated Sons because we haven't taken any missions against them or for them. We're same thing with the Draconis Combine, although it's interesting that the indifference is slightly wager. Maybe we did take a mission against the Federated Sons at some point. Same with Free Worlds League. We really haven't had anything to do with them. We have taken some missions for the Capellans, and so we're pretty good with them. Magistrate, we're, we're nicely aligned with them, the local pirate organization. We are honored with the Arana restoration. Shocker, considering we're, <laughs> we're basically an Arano lance. It's too bad we can't be an, uh, an Arano company. Now, there are mods that allow you to drop more mechs, which to me is kind of more fair, since the enemy AI is always landing like two or three lances at a time. It would be nice to be like three on three lances but you know whatever i mean there are mods for that but but so far we're just going to play vanilla here uh and when you max out with one of these factions you can actually ally with them the problem with that is say you have the federated sons as an ally let's see will it show me that's what i want okay so in this it gives you kind of a breakdown of the actual faction but it also shows you who their enemies are so if you ally with the faction <clears throat> you instantly go to zero rep with their enemies and you're now complete enemies with them. And yeah, Draconis Combine, not a surprise. A lot of these are not surprises. The problem is the pirate organization. You do not want to be enemies with the pirate organization in this game, but you also don't want to be allies with the pirate organization because they're enemies with literally everybody. And it's just, it's just not worth it, uh, in my opinion. So, but if we did ally with them, we can access uh, we can access their faction store, but none of them are as good as the black market. It's it's just not it's just not worth it. Uh, we're already on our way to Itrim. Sorry. <laughs> let's 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 continue to advance. Ah uh, yes, the catapult. It's never going to work, says Medusa. It'll work, says Slam. And even if it doesn't work, it'll be awesome, says Behemoth. You look curiously over at the three mech warriors clustered around a table in the mess hall. Noticing your interest, Behemoth calls you over, showing you a miniature, miniature catapult constructed of dried noodles, bits of edible foam, and elastic bands. Why, you ask? Although, I could totally picture Sergeant Terry from Brooklyn Nine-Nine just going, Why? <laughs> We were using utensils at first, but the cook took them away, says Behemoth, and like, Mattitude would be like, that's probably a clue, Behemoth. Slam says, if we can get it tuned properly, it'll be great for radishes. So we can either ignore them, supervise, or put a stop to it. Hello, cat. So we're going to supervise and see how this goes. Um, ah, so this is finally a good result from this. Usually they end up injuring themselves or doing something stupid. <laughs> so this is kind of a nice to see here how this goes. You watch the pilots work together as a team to get the little toy working. You only feel compelled to give a few hints, but you're mostly just drinking your coffee. The end result is only moderately successful, but you see the exact moment when Medusa gains a key insight into the laws of indirect fire. He excitedly shares the observation with his fellow mech warriors, and so those three gain 50 experience. Of course, they need thousands, but uh, hey, Boki, how are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. I am doing well. My neck continues to heal well. Uh, <laughs> it still feels a little weird, but all the pain on it is gone and uh, bouncing back nicely. Thank you for, for checking in on me. It's always good to see you on the channel. We're playing some more uh, Battletech here. We're getting our we're getting our way through the campaign. I'd say we're we're more than halfway through it at this point. At least I think we're more than halfway through the campaign missions. We're we're making some nice progress. We're get is complete. Perfect. We got our work done here so right now uh i'm doing well cleopatra is doing well she's laying across my left foot making it incredibly warm and also anchoring me 
in place. So even though I'm getting dangerously low on water, I'm stuck to the chair and I can't go downstairs to re give myself a refill. At least until the cat moves. <laughs> I swear, the cat... <laughs> The cat is responsible for like so much chaos and trauma on my gaming life. It really is amazing. You are such a troublemaker, you little shit. But that's okay. She makes up for it by being awesome. Um, well, thank you. I do appreciate that. It's nice. I actually got. I'm, I'm getting much better uh, rotation and motion as my um, as my neck gets used to its new length. So uh, I don't know if I kind of went into detail. Uh, part of the part of the surgical repair was I have two uh, artificial discs in my neck now. So the artificial discs are a little thicker than the original ones that, you know, I was born with and all that. So technically I'm now an inch taller and it's all in, in the neck. So I all those tendons and ligaments and muscles just need to continue to grow a little bit longer until I can turn uh, all the way again. That may take another couple of months. Uh, I saw you online to see how you were doing. Just ah, very good. Well, thank you. I do appreciate that. Yeah, thank you for, for dropping by. Always good to chat, even if it's just for a couple of moments. Sleep well, my friend. And until next time, uh, I hope you have a great rest of your week, man. Always good to see you. <laughs> I will definitely, I will pet her for you. Pokey sends his love. <laughs> good to see you, man. Have a good one. And let us proceed with our campaign mission. Without any further ado. So now we're in Directorate Space. We're going to do a little bit more liberating. We're going to... Uh, oh, wow. Ice Tray is still on ice. That is... That sucks. Do we go with Behemoth here? No, let's send in... Let's go with Slam here. I would prefer Ice Tray, but... Um, I'd rather have... Now, you know what? Let's go in with Behemoth. I'd rather have somebody that ha that can hit a little more reliably. I would prefer the multi-shot, but this isn't that big a deal. The Martian atmosphere of this planet really sucks. Excellent. Well, thank you, Deep Fry. I do appreciate that. We always have a good time here on the channel, and I, I feel like uh, we always have a good time bantering at one another. Even when I F up and things go horribly wrong, I feel like enough people... I feel like you guys have enough of a laugh of like, yeah, that was pretty stupid, sir. I'm like, yeah, that was pretty stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, but for the most part, we have, a, we have a good time, whether or not things are going well or going poorly. But uh, for the most part, I feel like things usually usually go more well than bad, so that's always nice. <laughs> so, always a positive when I'm not being a complete moron. We had some poor luck at the very beginning of the Battletech playthrough, although we had some, we did have some poor luck with RNG, but I also did make, like, especially that jungle mission. I still think back to that and be like, oh, that was such a mistake to go up instead of breaking off and focusing on the island first. First, sayonara, Pokey. So here we go. Uh, yeah, the stuff that they mine on Intrum is worth a small fortune on the black market. Better to have it on our hands than the Directorates. So, yeah. Um, the Directorate has taken possession of Intrum's largest processor and refinery and is attempting to loot the attached silos of rare and valuable minerals. We want you to claim them for the restoration instead. So essentially, Command during the invasion, we're going to be given a slightly um, different objective than the primary, uh, than the primary armies. Welcome to the Badlands of Itrim, Commander. The sands of this desert are rich in exotic elements that play havoc with electronic sensors and communications. Without the use of House Gallus' signal boosting equipment, you wouldn't even be receiving this message. The Badlands are a gold mine of rare earth metals and fissile materials. The Directorate has seized control of House Gallus' largest processor and refinery, and they're getting ready to move a year's supply of exotic materials off-world. That's a lot of materials. I need you to capture at least one of those silos for the restoration. Choose your target, engage its defenders, and destroy them. Our recovery team will take care of the rest. You'll need to act quickly, though. The Directorate will wire the silos to self-destruct if you give them the chance. The same radiation that's garbling the Directorate's long-range communications will render their sensors useless. You can detect them, and they won't even know you're there until you enter their direct line of sight, and the silos won't be able to communicate with each other. That's key here. Because of this... I'd advise you to engage the silos one at a time. Choose a target. Oops, sorry, cat. Um, choose a target and clear the defenders before moving on to the target. I reached down to give her a pet and instead kind of 
bopped her right in the head. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, if you're careful, you'll be able to hit all three silos one after the other, and director its troops will be none the wiser. What uh, what day and time do you mostly stream at? So I'm still so I'm, I'm basically just kind of getting back on my feet. The restoration um, will so I'm also getting my each silo you capture beyond the first. Good hunting, Commander. Sorry, Lady Rano, didn't mean to talk over you there. <laughs> um, I usually do stream on Tuesday nights and Sunday nights, but we'll see how often uh, I might expand into other areas. I keep threatening to stream on Saturday during the day. I haven't quite done that. So in uh, for my day job, I've got, you know, a normal 40, uh, 40 hour Monday to Friday, but I'm also a PhD student. So I'm kind of working on my dissertation at the moment. So... Right now, the only thing I feel comfortable committing to... Hello, cat. You going to join us? Or are you just going to sit in the chair? Oh, you're just going to sit in the chair. Uh, so right now, I only really feel comfortable committing to like two days. So it's mostly a Tuesday night, Sunday night affair for short. Cat, what are you doing? Hi, kitty. I love you, cat. What are you doing? Are you being a good girl? Are you being a brat? I already drank my water. You're looking at my water. You're going to come up here and try to drink my water. Sure, have my water. I already knew what you wanted. My lovely cat. Yep, you stuck your head in it. Yeah, I told you. I already drank it mostly. There isn't anything left. I'm sorry. <laughs> when I get a refill, you're welcome to the refill because I'll get a can of Coke for me. Hi, cat. <laughs> All right, we're going to resume battle tech here, kitty kitty. You're going to just hang out with me? Be my evil little villain cat? Nope, you're going to... Okay. Fine. Try to get more water out of that. Get, get get blood out of that out of that sponge i i your neck isn't long and oh my god you're still gonna try to do that give me two seconds give me two seconds chat okay hold on cat let me let me give you a refill i'll be right back cat. There you go, kitty kitty. Hello. There you go. Isn't that better? I mean, I know it's not the filtered water I usually give you, but you were being impatient. So there you go. Sink faucet water, and you're totally happy with that. You see what I have to deal with? <laughs> Actually, let's, let's switch to that. You, you're probably visible. Oh, she's, she's not all that visible. Hello, cat. <laughs> yeah, I know. Get your drink, cat. Get your drink. I know. We love you, cat. You're such a Okay. <laughs> Enough of Seraph getting distracted by his cat. Let's uh let's cruise up here. Move on up. Move order received. And we'll get on with it. I read you, Commander. Hi. Moving out. Oh, oh I should have switched in game. <laughs> I looked over to see a nice <laughs> a nice cat asshole. <laughs> nice nice job, Cleo. <laughs> At least now the whole internet knows what I feel like half the time. Cats, <laughs> I've never had a cat that didn't do that to your face. Like, please, cat, I don't need an entire face full of your ass. Oh, okay, yep, sit right back down on my feet. Oh my god, cat. <laughs> Difficulty level, uh, <laughs> slightly elevated with, with cat distractions here. Moving to position. All right, we'll advance glitch a little bit. Uh -huh. And sure, we'll advance the archer. Really? Oh, okay. Decided. Oh, no, I'm just gonna play with her twice some more. Oh, good grief. So, I don't... I didn't want to jinx it. And I'm gonna try not to jinx it here. But, usually, this mission goes fairly well. I almost feel like this particular aye, aye. mission would do better. Enemy detected. So then we're advancing here. Uh, yeah, we can just, we can just advance. Let's go slower so they don't detect us. But, um, this is, at least in previous playthroughs, if this goes the way it usually does, this goes much easier than, like, Smithen especially. <laughs> Smithen is a particularly brutal, the invasion Smithen is what I'm talking about, uh, is a particularly brutal mission in my opinion um i almost feel like this would have been better served to be an earlier mission because the others 
are just so much harder than this is. This ends up being fairly easy, although we do have to be tactical about it. So who knows? Maybe I just have a generally easier time with it. But also, by this point of the game, we're getting better mechs. That certainly helps. And it certainly helps. Our pilots are getting better. Um, and we're able to just take take out these in pretty short order. I hear ya. Yeah, we're just gonna advance. Coordinates received. And it'll show us if we were going to enter their line of sight. Close, Commander. Be careful with your positioning. If they pick up a visual on you, they'll go on high alert, sensors or no sensors. <laughs> Orders. Warns us to that effect. But basically, if you see a dotted line, that means that you'll have line of sight to them, and thus they will have line of sight to you. So we'll we'll know how far forward we can advance. I'm definitely gonna have to pause in a second to go get myself a refill. Good to go. Atlas. See, like here, if I sprint here, they'll see me. So we don't want to do that. You know what? We'll just move. We'll just move. And what I'll do is I'll take the next turn, reposition a little bit better, and uh, and then we'll begin the assault next turn in concert. Perfect. Standing by. Yeah, that's fine. Move there. I'll do. On it. I mean, theoretically, I could sensor lock them and shoot, but if I open fire on them, they'll definitely know I'm here. <laughs> do, do, do. Waiting do, do, do. on you, Commander. Yep. Definitely can't go there. Definitely can't go there. Let's uh, let's just move here. And that's as close as I'm going to get. Don't need to tell me twice. Um, but yeah, for the most part on, uh, if I start doing, uh, for the most part on Tuesdays, I usually start at, um, I usually start at eight. And on Sundays, I usually start at seven. That gives me time for me to go to my day job, come home, play with the cat, get dinner. Um, and then even on Sunday, it gives me time to just kind of chillax, get dinner. I usually eat fairly late. I do like to do that before before streaming. That's that's sort of the schedule at the moment. Until until further notice. <laughs> Receiving you. School is definitely gonna be Copy that. School definitely does take up a lot of my time. I do a lot of reading. I I read a lot of articles. Right now I'm working on my lit review, so that's that's exciting and fun. It actually is exciting and fun. It's a really interesting time. But it's a commitment. <laughs> Alright, so I think what we'll do here is let's... I think what we'll do is we'll advance with Behemoth. And we'll see which of these is better to just obliterate with a precise shot. Educational leadership. So I do... Um, Specifically, higher education program. Silo Alpha has detected your presence. Act quickly, Commander. If you give them enough time, they'll set the silo to self-destruct. And yeah, we'll lose our bounty. Alpha Lance, fall in on my position. I've got eyes on the enemy. Well, that's definitely not what I'm shooting at. Oh my god. Okay, well, that SRM carrier definitely has to be taken out. Let's see. I think we're just going to obliterate the blackjack here. Yeah, let's obliterate this back, Blackjack. <laughs> yep, perfect. We just deleted it in the opening salvo. <laughs> yeah, part of my inspiration for that was um, when I uh, when I was going through my undergraduate years, there were a number of, shall we say, challenges associated with... Uh, Ooh, you know what? I almost want to take out this commando. But let's not mess around. We're going to take out the SRM carrier. Because the SRM carrier could just do so much damage. So look at all these SRM6s. It's crazy. <laughs> look at this fucking thing. It's absurd. Um, but yeah, if we just shoot it with a gauze rifle, it will it'll just kick right up. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use any of those. We'll just shoot it with these and we'll call it a day. And that will be the end of the SRM carrier. 
but I decided early on that um then I wanted higher education to function a lot better and so got my master's in ed leadership and now I'm working on my PhD in that so hopefully uh, and in a year or two, I will have the letters after my name and then I can start making Good the world a better place. <laughs> That's the hope anyway. You know what? I bet way. you if I precise shot that commando's head, I could take out that commando even with it being protected. I bet you we can. Let's try. <laughs> Boom. Oh, nope. Maybe not. Yep, we did. Okay, it just faked me out. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see it? <laughs> yes, we did, Glitch. That's why we love you. All right, this this fucking Griffin. Um, yeah, let's even with half damage. Let's fuck it up. I think the Griffin's still gonna go first, but whatever. Open fire. Still did decent damage to it. Oh god, we hit its head. <laughs> so we've got four rounds, and we've already destroyed, th destroyed three out of the four units. Waiting for oh. orders. Yeah, that's right. So one of the advantages of going last like this, you theoretically could just go twice. We're just gonna do that. Fire. Usually it doesn't play out this way, but sure, let's go twice before it can even go. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. Usually the computer would go first in that scenario. And you missed anyway. Yeah, let's just advance. Take out the Griffin. Let's not mess around. I don't think I had the movement to jump behind it. Goodbye. We're going to cool off by the time it gets to go again. Wow, I missed a lot of... I missed the center torso a lot. But I still think we got it. Engineers deployed. They're diffusing the charges now. Perfect. Nicely done, Commander. The storage silo is ours. I'm marking an evac zone on your map. Whenever you're ready, you may proceed there for extraction. So theoretically, if we wanted to, we could just end the mission by going to... I copy. ...the evac zone. That's also the other thing that makes this mission easier. Like, we're already, Location we're theoretically already done. Uh, everything else now is optional. Although we may as well do the other ones. We're already here. And we get some pretty nice bonuses. I mean, we didn't even get shot at yet, right? I don't think we even got shot at yet. Down we go. Got it. Go here. You betcha. Down here. Now we just have to figure out uh, the direction to the next silo. Which I think is... We're going to go up and to the right. And the other two are actually fairly close to each other. Yeah, sure. We'll just jump. <laughs> That's actually going to be faster. I'm just going to jump this way and go straight over rather than go around. Everybody else can go around. On my way. Well, yeah, Glitch, glitch is going to have any problem. The Marauder definitely has some nice mobility. Compared to these super slow assault mechs. Same with the archer. Heading out. But I want to stay in formation anyway. So there's really no point in getting too carried away here. So there's that. Where is that silo? Easiest way to get to that silo. I think is up and around here. All right, because that. Hmm. I think it is this way. Actually, what I think we'll do is we'll take out this silo first and then we'll cruise around, deal with the other one. Roger that. Do it this Moving way. Out. But as we move, we're cooling off. It'd probably be a little different if we weren't able to destroy the mechs so quickly. Yeah, this was the problem with uh, with being up there. Uh, we'll just brace these guys. Wait for me to catch up. Here. 
All right. Uh, nope. Come on. Come on. Please. Thank you. Position confirmed. Wow. <laughs> that goes so much faster. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Move. Move order received. Ah, right. We're detecting that one. Not that it matters. We're not going to go for that silo. Although we could. Actually, yeah, we could. Good to go. Yeah, you know what? We could just go for this silo real quick. I think I usually do go around the other way. Yeah, this is why we go around this way. I think this might be one of the things that gets a little tricky because if you start interacting with them, these guys might see you. So we're not going to mess around. We're just going to go here. We're going to ignore. We're going to ignore that silo for now. We're going to take out this silo first. Going for Charlie. Now that I see it, it matters. Waiting for orders. Yeah, yeah. Got it. I'll sprint with the Atlas. I'm not going to sprint with these guys. Definitely sprint with you. Full throttle. Yeah, that Highlander 732B is an awesome mech. <laughs> The gauze rifle is uh, such a thing of beauty. Not only with, I mean, the damage isn't crazy like an auto cannon, but it generates almost no heat Waiting for order. and has the most obscene range of like freaking anything. Got it. No shooting, just running. Come to think of it, I think BattleTech was the first game where I ever actually was introduced to the concept of a gauze cannon or a gauze rifle. Gauze rifle, gauze cannon, whatever. So I played. I think I played Battletech before I played Master of Orion. Although Master of Orion had the mass driver, which technically is a gauze cannon, but they had the gauze cannon later. No, 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 that they def yeah, they differentiated between a mass driver and a gauze cannon. The gauze cannon was later. Now, you know what? I think Master of Orion was my first introduction to the gauze. Now that I think about it. Reserve. I need behemoth to go. Commander. Sprint. Okay, so you can go. All right, so if we even go here, it's game over. So we'll go here. Copy that. Shit, I didn't see this. Thing. Hopefully I didn't go too far. Oh, fuck, I went too far. Silo Charlie is under alert. Take it quickly before they have time to destroy it. Yeah, I hot, mean... Charlie, Lance. We've got incoming battle mech my position that's all right that's all right the good news we can start firing on them so we may as well do that Engaging jump jets. it's okay we still got this even though they spotted us fuck them actually yeah fuck it let's go for it let's go for the headshot maybe we hit now okay if the gauze rifle had hit its head, it was it was over anyway. That's all right. We took a chance. Why not? I might what even take I another chance with the uh, with the Marauder here. Yeah, you know what? I'll take Don't another chance with the Marauder. Twice. Why not? Why not? I mean, I took that chance. Why not do it again? Time to die. I had a better chance to hear. Didn't quite finish off the head. Oh, well. What do you need? It's fine. It's fine. On my Let's way. chew into it on its side. Missile time. Hell, we might even knock over the Shadowhawk here. That would be pretty awesome to knock it over. Blue of its right arm. Come on, knock down, knock down, knock down. Yep, we got it. <laughs> All right, not a bad opening salvo, all things considered. Yeah, with Sarah fucking up the opening bit of this. Yeah, good luck hitting that Atlas. Oh, okay, you didn't even try. Okay, you ran that way. <laughs> this is interesting. Good to go. I am kind of surprised, actually, but okay. 
Let's just advance. Let's try and go for the head here. Aim for the head. Uh, all right, so no PPC there. But let's try and take out his head. Got it. Perfect. I mean, since it was there. Should have run when you had the chance. Oh, uh, we got a cicada here. And this. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's do that and let's just see what we got. At least this way we'll have our options. Yes. Yes, we shoot the SRM carrier every time. <laughs> Goodbye, SRM carrier. <gasps> Holy shit, go to hell. <laughs> Enemy unit destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, let's just shoot the Jenner where we are, actually. Precision strike the Jenner where I am. No, you're not safe there, Jenner. We might even core it from here. Well, we didn't core it, but we knocked it down. Target so much for your evasion. Hit. Next. Yes, Commander. Uh, Roger. I am not inclined to shoot at that Jenner with this. I'm inclined to shoot at that. Yeah, let's go for the cicada. Good. It should be dead. I think this cicada's toast. Yeah. I hit with both of those AC-20s. It's down. a it's a medium mech. Like it can't it can't survive against two AC-20 hits. It just can't. <laughs> uh. You know what? We'll reserve. I should just shoot at it. But I want to save the ammo. I'd rather shoot at it with lasers at this point. I don't think it can even... Ah, uh, we finally got hit. We took 22 whole points of damage here. I'm showing minor damage. Okay, you know what? Let's just reserve. Nothing else. Standing by. Oh, I can't punch it. I would have preferred to have punched it. Well, okay. Uh, we're not shooting with the auto cannon or the LRM. Yeah, we'll shoot with those. Let's see what happens to this jump. <laughs> and now we just keep hitting it in the head. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's uh, let's back up. Why not? Let's back away from Heading this thing. Out. the cool part about the ace pilot you could shoot and then move waiting for orders can't actually hit it from there fine coordinates received laser time really would prefer we're not gonna shoot the ac5 yeah let's shoot a ppc and two medium lasers see Got what happens it. to this thing there we go perfect Explosive defusal is a go, Commander McDougal. Good. Exiting combat. Now time to cycle for heat. Jump. And we make our way up this way. Yeah, pretty much we're just going to go this way. A lot of these mechs have to go around this way. Get up here. because Some of them aren't going to be able to scale this. Engaging jump jets. Well, cruise over here. We'll rescan. We redetect that guy. That's fine. Sprint. Yep. Sprint this way. On the move. Yep. Sprint that way. Uh -huh. And sprint that way. Look at that. We're all back together again. And then once we take out this, uh, this silo, I don't think it forces us to go back to the evac point. I think at that point, it'll just make it allow us to leave. Which will be nice. Let's go up here. Engaging jump jets. Okay. Oh, damn it. 
I did not think they could detect me from there. Silo Bravo's detected you. Damn, how did they find me from there? I'm still pretty far away, but oh well. All right, fine. We have a limited time before they destroy the silo. Lock and load, Bravo Lance. We've got company. But fine. Fine. I fucked up there. That's okay. Let's shoot the trebuchet. Sure. I'm surprised the trebuchet could see me. I know I could see it because I've got the rangefinder. I wonder if that's a glitch where as soon as I see it, all of a sudden it can Wait, find us, you, but whatever. I don't think it can. I don't think it should have been able to find us. Not the, not the end of the world, though. We have five rounds. Like, I, I'm not, I'm... Aye, aye. Now, maybe I should be worried, but at the moment, I'm I'm still not worried, even Copy with that. this little bit of a, of a hitch. Kind of wanted to just get a lay of the land. I think normally what I do is I sprint them, and then I wait to jump up here. But I feel like I remember being able to get close to this pond without them seeing me before. Not a big deal. I mean, the archer can still put a crap ton of damage downstream. Downfield, rather. Yeah, we've already blown through the armor. So we've already got two mechs interacting with them. That's probably an SRM carrier. Of course it is. Ready for orders. Yeah, let's advance with the Atlas and we'll just put... We'll put LRMs in the trebuchet. The Atlas isn't going to do a whole lot here now. It's just too out of position. But LRM, 20 LRMs, that's a lot. Four LRMs. Let's go for critical hits here. Only doing two damage, but... All right, well, we still unsteadied it. I'll take that. Light mech. The trebuchet is probably going to fire at the Highlander. Yep. And then... The trebuchet will, will, will be destroyed. <laughs> I don't I don't see the trebuchet surviving the Highlander's reprisal. I just don't. Especially with all the damage we've already done to it. <laughs> we may have knocked it over down. Ooh, we didn't knock it down. Yeah, it must have been just in the right spot there that it could see us. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Well, look at that. We'll jump over here. And we'll continue to pound the trebuchet with LRM fire. Ah, uh, I just realized it braced. That sucks. What can I do for you? Sprint? Can we get up here? Yeah, let's just get up here. Sprint up. Max speed, no shooting. Perfect. I'll be able to shoot. Probably next turn. Not a big deal. Rems. Wonder what that is. Sixty tons. It's probably some sort of striker. What's up, Bach? I could shoot that. Yeah, I'm better off shooting the Centurion. Done moving. Yep, fire. More bang for the buck. That one's only slightly defending. I'll do three damage instead of one. Did fuck all damage to this thing. We're gonna actually receiving you. Yeah, you know what? We'll advance. I'll shoot that centurion. Three rounds. I mean, might be a little close, but we're having, we're having a nice little skirmish. Made it more interesting than I think it needed to be, but <laughs> that's all right. We'll add a little bit of drama here. And then once we finish here, Itram will be restoration space. So we could do a couple of missions in Itram and see if it prompts us for the defense mission that comes after this. And that defense mission is an interesting one. For sure. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's just move. Uh, yeah, all right. Fine. We'll do that. And then I'll do vigilance. 
So the last thing I need are all these guys having a free shot at me. LRM carrier. Let's see. So I kind of feel like I should try to take out that Centurion at this range. Or I could just obliterate the Locust. But the Locust is not a threat to me. The Trebuchet is protected. Let's go for that Centurion. Let's try and take out the Centurion from this distance. Everybody else, as they close in, can do some damage to the Trebuchet. Good. All right, the Centurion's dead. That was the right choice. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Dance. I'll shoot this protected trebuchet. Yes. Okay, we're not gonna bother. We're only doing half damage to it. Oh my god! But I still hit the head anyway. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe I'll go for a headshot next time, since now it'll only take a medium laser to do it. Yeah, at that range, very few of those LRMs were likely to hit. LRMs have a, a minimum range, so I'm not really sure what they were thinking there. Affirmative. No real good options with the Atlas here. shoot the locust just to try to evade get whittle down some of that evasion or i could shoot this trebuchet i'll shoot the trebuchet Roger. and continue working its stability meter plus critical hits and whatnot oh we destroyed the lrm 15 and got another critical head hit, hit. oh my later. god wow actually we may kill the pilot here we did not kill the pilot i'm surprised that pilot is still alive because the pilot's taken a torso loss. No, it's been hit in the head twice. No, yeah, let's take a look. I bet you. I wonder if it shows the pilot health. The head's been hit twice. It lost a torso. And it got knocked down. It's taken four. It's taken four damage. It's taken four hits. I'm kind of surprised that the uh, that the pilot of this mech is still is still kicking. Uh, I actually am I'm really surprised about that. I'm very surprised. Shit. <laughs> I kind of feel like let's advance and try. Well. I don't want to try to kill it. Well, I almost want to destroy the torso and see if we can disable the pilot. Let's try and do that. Let's just shoot the two medium lasers. We'll destroy the. We'll, we'll play. We'll play games with this, right? Let's just shoot that torso and see if blowing it off kills the pilot. Okay, pilot injured again. Scored a critical hit. Wow, that pilot is still not dead. But the trebuchet has no weapons anymore. It, it, it it's it's literally dead. Well, if I melee the locust, it's probably going to die. So let's melee the locust. I'm not too worried about the LRM carrier at point-blank range. Holy shit, I stepped on its head! <laughs> we fucking Mario'd it! <laughs> wow, I can't believe how many head hits we're getting without even aiming for the head. That is bonkers. Alright, what's this trebuchet doing? It has no weapons. It's really not much of a threat to us now what can it, I do it for really you? really isn't the uh, I don't I don't see I don't see it really being able to do anything uh sure let's just go here Moving we'll out. shoot at the carrier because over there I could only shoot at the trebuchet I'd rather take out the CLRM carrier entirely I'm not that worried about it but that doesn't mean okay 
<laughs> I mean, I'm not. Okay, good. Vehicle's destroyed. And now we can finish off this trebuchet. We've got one round to do it. Oh, all right. We still have behemoth here. Cool. Let's shoot you with some LRM 20s. Now, in any realistic scenario, pilot should eject. You've got no weapons. It's four against one. What is the trebuchet doing? It knows it can't survive two rounds. Now, if I thought, if I'm this pilot and I think I have any chance, time's almost up. Either defeat those guards or get your forces clear. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. This thing's, this thing's not, not survive. Unless it tries a melee hit here. And it could try a melee hit, but I don't think it has enough. Uh, I just don't think it had enough. Um... Jeez, really? Okay. Well, fine. Roger. Yeah, that's what it's going to try to do. It's going to try to not die. But it's, it's it doesn't have a chance. It just doesn't. <laughs> It's just not going to... I only have to do 49 points of damage to it. It's it's not happening. It, this, it's just not. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think if I go here... Yeah, it's... It's dead. It's, it's totally dead. Even with it being braced like this, it cannot survive this Alpha Strike. It literally is going to take an Alpha Strike from a Highlander, I'm shooting at almost like the Monty Python Black Knight. It's just a flesh wound. It's like, you have no arms left. I'm totally butchering the... I also haven't heard that. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. What? I, now, now Seraph's trying to remember the actual accent. If I actually can remember the accent, I could replicate it pretty well. Wow, I missed the gauze rifle. That's crazy, but it doesn't matter. We've set down combat engineers. They're securing the structure. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that uh, that that <laughs> that trebuchet was going to survive. Good work, Commander. Thanks to you, the director has suffered a major setback, and we've gained a valuable new asset. Yeah, three cheers. If you'll excuse us, Lady Rano, we need to get those mechs hosed down and decontaminated. Come on, Commander. Yang's got a great big tub of boron, and he's just dying to use it. Commander, the area has been cleared. Darius has given me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. Mission successful. So, uh, hey, Freakbot, what's going on? Look, you stupid bastard, you've got no arms left. We were just talking about that. That's the exact quote. Thank you. <laughs> Still got it on DVD. Nice. I actually, so I had Monty Python and the Holy Grail, but I had it on VHS. I haven't had a VHS player in God only knows how long. I think my copy of Body Python and the Holy Grail on VHS is still at my parents' house somewhere in a closet, but I can't watch it. <gasps> but just like that, we gained two and a half million sea bills. And we killed a shit ton of things. And two of our mechs never even got never even got fired upon. The behemoth has a few scratches and the Highlander has, uh, or rather the Atlas has like a scratch and the Highlander has like Maybe two scratches. I mean, we really, that was a curb stomp. So yeah, typically this mission goes pretty, pretty well. Uh, you still got two VCRs, but uh, the heads on one of them are dirty as hell. Yeah, and good luck getting them cleaned anywhere. I don't know of anybody that cleans them. So that part sucks. Well, we'll recover that mech. We'll recover that mech. And is there any good salvage? Maybe the LRM-20? Maybe, <laughs> probably not. I mean, unless there's a really good SRM six. Well, maybe, but it's not an SRM six plus or like three plus. It's just two plus. I think or rather, I think even those we've got a few of. Yeah, we've got one of those. So you know what? Let's just. You know, maybe this one. Although we've got three of those. I think we'll go maximum money here. Let's go max money. We'll complete three mechs. We'll sell what we don't have. <laughs> it still gave us some extra commando salvage and Shadowhawk salvage. Let's see. Oh, it still gave us the plus three medium laser. Nice. Oh, you used to have a 
you know, I totally forgot. I think I used to have one of those head cleaner tapes too. Not that it matters at this stage, but you know, I totally forgot those even existed. So how did the rest of the uh, randomizer end up going, Freakbot? I left when you were uh, in, I think I started stream up when you were in Misery Mire. Or no, maybe you were heading up. Ah, perfect. Revelations. Lady Rano, after almost two years of directorate imprisonment, I'd nearly lost hope for myself, for Itram, for the entire Oregon Reach. Oh, nice. You beat it. That's awesome. I owe you my eternal gratitude, all of you. Because of your actions, the directorate's hold on Itram has been broken and my people have been saved. Now, that's what we're here for, Lady Gallus. So House Gallus is the one that fell out of favor with Director Espinosa, which is why we liberated it, hoping that she would throw us a bone and come up with some sort of way to get the Torians out of the war. Yes, it is, but their continued survival is anything but certain. I'm going to be honest with you, Lady Gallus. I had to wade through a sea of blood to reach Itram. My army is war weary and outgunned, and the reach is on the verge of being overrun. So if you know anything that can help us, I need you to share it with me. Yes, Lady Arano, I can help you. I know where you can find what you need to break the Directorate's alliance with the Torian Concordat. You'll need to travel to Gildra. Hmm. Alexander Madeira's home system. Oh, and <laughs> it says it right there. Oh, my goodness. Uh-huh. And what are we supposed to find there? I'll say since I literally just... House Madeira's insurance policy. A treasure trove of incriminating evidence against House Espinosa to be revealed should the directorate ever turn on them. All you need is to, uh, all you need to do is search the Madeira archives. You'll find what you need. Deliver it to Protector Calderon and our Torian problems will be over. The archives are DNA locked to my family. If we're going to gain access to this insurance policy, I'll need to travel there myself. <laughs> what could go wrong? One of the reasons why I actually wanted to talk to him before coming here. And hopefully not the head of an army. You've seen what war has done to Itram. I pray that Gildra could be spared the same face. Same fate. Alexandra. And a thunderous roar cuts ladies, Lady Gallus' sentence short, and the image on your view screen cuts to nothing. Lady Gallus? Samantha? Can you hear me? Holy shit, Lady Arano. Sensors are picking up evidence of a massive fuel air explosion in the capital. Castle Gallus is gone. The bastards must have planted a bomb before we drove them away. Damn it. Damn it to hell. Alexander, get emergency services to the capital, medical teams, combat engineers, whoever you can find it. We need to search the wreckage for survivors. I'll dispatch our forces right away, Kamea, but then I must return home. I will travel with an appropriate bodyguard, but otherwise I need to go alone. Lady Gallus was right. We've lost too much already. I won't see the army move on Goldra. Not if I could do the job myself. Alexander, no, I won't allow it. I can't afford to lose you. Maya, please, I am duty-bound to see this through. Guldra is a core system, a veritable fortress. If we attempt an invasion, there will be terrible losses on both sides. I won't allow that. Not if I can achieve our goal another way. And I am confident that I can accomplish through subterfuge what our army could not, the recovery of the evidence we need, without unnecessary bloodshed. I am your loyal servant and Fred Kamea, always have been, but I am also a Madeira, and I have a responsibility to protect Guldra from harm. You of all people should understand that. Hate to break it to you, but right now the Argo isn't all that safe either. <laughs> the commander has a point there, my lady. We're still identifying and fixing damage that the Lacura did to the ship's systems. I mean, I think that all the major damage has been repaired, but there are no guarantees. Fair enough. I suppose that none of us is safe anymore. Very well, my old friend. You may go if you must. Now you know how I feel every time you insist on leading a combat mission. Not a good feeling, is it? Go. Get us the leverage we need. We'll hold the line against the Torians for as long as we can. I know you will. We can win this, Kamea. We will win this. You're damned right we will. We'll make sure of it. You heard the commander. Back to your stations, everyone. We've got a war to win. All right, so we've got picked up a locust. We picked up Commando 1B and a Centurion. So we're going to go here. And we are going to 
restore that. Commando. And Locust. So once we store all those, let's head over to the store. We're gonna sell all this shit. Sell! Yep, sell the Centurion. Sell the Commando. Sell the Locust. Granted, the Locust doesn't really give us a whole lot. Uh, let's see if we've got anything really stockpiled. I don't think we do. Yeah, we've got enough of those. Let's let's keep some medium lasers, but otherwise we'll sell the rest of that. It's still 100,000 Seabills. We like that. We like money. I don't think there's anything else that's too... Okay, heat sinks. Sure. Let's pick up 100,000 Seabills worth of heat sinks. Oh my god, we got, we got jump jets galore. Doesn't really matter. It's the same number of clicks. And SRM. So, probably should have waited in the SRM ammo, but whatever. That's fine. Now let's see what we could buy. Since we've got a good reputation discount. Probably nothing in here to really buy, but we'll look anyway. Yeah, Ooh, Armod. Ah, plus 10 stability damage. They're not giving me the plus damage arm mods. I mean, they give you the plus 20 melee damage mod, but it weighs a ton. So, like, what's the point? Uh, plus one melee hit, plus two melee hit, plus three hit defense. But, oh my god. Two million Seabills on that. Ugh. That is just brutal. All right, DFA damage, sure. You know what? We'll do that because it doesn't weigh anything. My goodness. All right, I have to think about the plus three hit defense gyro. Let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, we can pick up a Star League Black Knight, which would have a shit ton of heat sinks. That is tempting. It would cost us the better part of four million sea bills, but we could do it. We can get an original Black Knight. That's not really worth it. Same there. We really can't do that. Um, well, we could buy the plus AC20 for not really that much. Okay, that we are definitely picking up for sure. New weapon systems available. Yeah, Infernos are nice. They do eight volleys and they do a shit ton of heat. They are great. They, they are bananas. Infernos are one of the funniest fucking support weapons in the game. I'm not spending half a million on uh, on a support weapon at the moment, but yeah, that is a really nice weapon system to be able to buy at this stage of the game. Ooh, I need to think about that pulse weapon. Um, Maybe, maybe, because that's, that's pretty rare. A, pl a two plus, because plus 10 damage minus two heat that's a lot of damage out of a small pulse laser. I generally don't like the pulse lasers, though. Uh, I'm not inclined to go that route. But boy, that is tempting. All right, let's buy a replacement small laser. New sure. Systems available. Boy, that is tempting as hell. But no, it's still too much money for what we have. That's not the best LRM-15. I think we'll go with the with the plus three AC-20 though. The Kaliyama AC-20 is really good. I think we'll call that a day, but boy, man, it would be nice to buy the Black Knight. If nothing, just to put the Black Knight in storage and get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double heat sinks. I mean, are nine double heat sinks worth four million C bills? Uh, and I'm in well, it's actually more than that, because we would need to do... No, it'd be closer to four and a half. It'd be about four and a half. So we'd have to do a couple of missions in system to do that. I, I don't I don't think... I don't think that's in the cards quite yet. But we do not have our next priority mission. So we could do a destroy base here, start making some money... Who knows, maybe by the time the priority mission drops, we'll have enough money for that Black Knight, and maybe it makes sense at that at that stage. I don't think it will, but it would be nice. But at the very minimum, 
we could uh, put in that one ER medium laser. The problem is we're still stuck without an ER small laser. Boy, it would really be nice to buy that Black Knight though. I just don't think we have enough disposable income to spend that amount of money on a Star League mech and then not use the Star League mech. <laughs> it really would just be to farm it for the double heat sinks. Although a Star League Black Knight would be would be pretty impressive. That almost might be better than the Marauder, even with the Marauder's Lance Command mod that makes the entire Lance uh, take 10% less damage. I don't know. That's that's hard. Maybe the Black Knight instead of the Atlas, but that Atlas just soaks up so much extra damage because the Atlas weighs so much more than the Black Knight. I mean, pound for pound, the Black Knight is better, but without without tummage limitations, there's no reason. Although the Black Knight's a lot more maneuverable, and eh, you know, I mean, you can make arguments either way. Regardless, let's go spend some XP if we earned any. I don't. Oh, yes, we did. Let's go with the plus three hit defense, so that Atlas is even harder to hit. Commander. I don't think anybody really. Ooh, you do. Let's do this. Hell yeah, let's do this. Yes, plus one hit defense. You learned in the simulator. Yeah. I don't think you've got anything. You still have the last one, and we're still good here. Okay. So yeah, let's. And Alexander's gone now. So let's see, destroy base or a battle. Yeah, let's do the battle. Let's clear out the mercs. It's not fun to have to deal with mercenaries, but I mean, it's part of the business. We'll get a half million sea bills. We'll get some salvage. Let's do it. Yeah, fuck it. Before we do any of these modifications, uh, I just realized you have all the East VODs on YouTube. I'll have to watch it after I beat the game. You feel free. Yeah, please do. Um, but the fun part about East is I'm, I actually find that, because what I was worried about East is that it, I would have nostalgia glasses, and then once I played it, I'd be like, oh god, I'm streaming this and it doesn't age well. It actually ages really, really well. Uh, I'm, I've been very pleasantly surprised that I'm having as much fun as I remember having when I was playing it as a kid, and it is like playing it for the first time because it's been such a long time. Like obviously, I remember certain things. I remember the bat boss. Command interface initiated. And at this point for playing it, I'm going to try not to, you know, spoil too many things. But um but yeah, I'm 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 uh I I'm thinking about East 2 and I'm like how much of that game do I really remember? Like I remember the the various zones and places. There's a lot of that game I don't really remember. Uh, so it's going to be fun playing through that again. Yeah, feel free. I, I, I That's that's kind of why I kind of upload all these things onto YouTube. Although I think I forgot to upload my last chapter of Battletech on YouTube. I'll have to do that. I'll, I'll upload this chapter and the previous one when we go up there. We're facing professionals, so we should expect well-armed and disciplined opposition. Um, Yeah, yeah. The first boss, I, I found that to be the case too. Uh, the first boss is, is trickier than the second one. So with East, the bosses don't necessarily get harder as you go in. <laughs> uh, there are a couple that I remember being much harder than bosses later on. Uh, so that that'll just be the case. So try not to get uh, try not to get too discouraged if you run into one that's that's a lot harder than the ones around it. Or you could always go and you could farm for XP and then kind of come back. So the boss at the Without getting into details, the boss at the end of the mines, in my opinion, is harder than any of the other bosses in East 1. Uh, case in point, when we got to the end of East 1, we beat the last boss of East 1 in one attempt. He didn't even kill us, although it was close. He, he got us down to like a sliver of health, if I remember correctly. Uh, but we did it. Uh, now, it also helps that Seraph remembered the end of uh, that last boss of East 1. But point stands. I remembered the boss at the end of the mine and it didn't do me a lick of good. I died over and over to that bastard. <laughs> oh, you picked nightmare mode. Uh, so if you're playing nightmare mode, you're playing the Steam version. Uh, are you playing the Steam version of East 1 and 2 complete? We picked up comm seminoles from this region. So that's where you should start looking. Because I don't remember East Book 1 and 2, the version I'm playing on uh, the... I don't remember this one having uh, a difficulty mode. Um, 
Yep, East Chronicles. Okay, so... Hmm. So, I'll just spot you this. Uh, you will need the silver sword for the boss at the end of the mines. And if you still find you can't do damage to it, you may find that you have to change the frame rate on your monitor to do damage to it. So if if you're if you can't even do one health point of damage and you don't have the silver sword, try try adjusting in uh I think Steam itself might have settings for the frame rate, but if not, you may actually have to go in your monitor settings and change that. Um so if that's the case, because there is there there is a case I remember, uh, because I ran into the same issue. Uh <laughs> and I'm like, why can't I even do a single hit point of damage to this? And I went onto a forum and they're like, yeah, apparently there's there's there are some there are some computers and doesn't seem people haven't really figured out why. Uh where you the timing doesn't line up with the frame rate or anything. And anyway, it becomes impossible to beat. Um, so yeah, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Hopefully you just get to it and it's hard, but you actually can do damage as long as you get the timing right. The, the timing on that is very, very precise. Even on, even on the turbo graphics version, the timing is precise. So hopefully you don't run into too much trouble with that. Uh, keep them off balance and be careful commander. It's a great game. So the, the East one and two Chronicles version you're playing is definitely a graphical update. And they also add some story elements that I really, really liked. I just chose not to play that version on stream because of, um, I did run into the frame rate issue. Uh, and I'm like, all right, well, I could adjust the frame rate or I could just figure out the emulator. I chose the option to go with the emulator, but I did, I did buy East one and two Chronicles. So who knows, maybe one day I'll stream it. And uh, maybe I'll have some better luck with that. Who knows? Maybe the fact that I'm capturing an OBS also makes it a little easier too. I've been trying to get all the achievements in one go. I don't know how hard that is because I haven't played the entirety of East 1 and 2 Chronicles. Although I did get a an achievement in that that was supposedly rare. So uh, I, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to get all the achievements, especially if you're trying to do it on purpose. The game is fun. Uh, it is. It is a great, great game. Let's see. What are we doing here? Let's reserve. Hmm. All right. So if I can't. Yeah, we'll just advance here. We'll we'll jump and we'll shoot this quick draw. Oh, yeah. And you're not even. Oh, you're you haven't even gone yet. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right. Yeah, let's uh, let's just try to kill you outright. Or do we try to go for the headshot? Yeah, it's only one out of five. Let's just try to core it at this range and see if we can just destroy this quick draw without it even going. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I, I certainly hope so as well. We'll be a little further ahead on uh, on Sunday. One of the things I am going to do is I'm going to go and farm a little bit uh, offline just for like an hour or something. Nothing too crazy. All right. Well, I'm obviously I'm shooting a JRMAC here, um, but I'm going to play. I'm going to fire it up for like a half hour and uh, just go through. There's like a basement and it's a great. It's a fantastic farming point. Granted, I'm probably going to die a few times before I start gaining some of those levels, but uh, it'll make my life a little easier as I get deeper into East too, and I won't have to farm later on. So I'm just gonna spare everybody Waiting for order. Uh, the grief and just do it there. Ooh, let's see. All right, fine. We'll just advance then and we'll shoot the Jager mech. But I'll also take one shot at the quick draw. Yeah, we'll do that. B. Perfect. No problem. I've got enough yeah, I'd rather just everyone. shoot there. Perfect. And we impaired sensors. Yeah, you are defended, but I still hit you anyway. There is a max level cap in Chronicles 1. Uh, you get you get capped at level 10, which in my opinion is really low because we were now granted. I don't know how equitable the levels are. I was level 32, I think, when I beat East 1, uh, the, the, the original one, this one. 
uh, and I was level capped already in the mine. So that could that could complicate things. <laughs> Yes, Absolutely. Amanda. I don't know why. I don't know why they decided to do a level cap. Um, that's that's a little surprising to me, to be honest. I'm not sure what they were thinking because I don't feel like the game needed the level cap. It really takes away the option of making it easier by grinding. Uh, but I wasn't having to be fair, though, I wasn't having that much trouble when I was in the mine, level 10. So maybe they designed it in mind uh, that it's okay to be in the last dungeon of East 1 with that level cap. I don't know. I didn't actually get that far in East Chronicles 1 and 2. Once I ran into the frame cap issue, I was like, yeah, uh, I think we'll just do this. <laughs> Time to knock down this Jagger mech. I do not know if that max cap exists in Chronicles of East 2. Ah, uh, we didn't knock down the Jager mech. I was hoping we would. Oh, well. Ah, uh, moved up and braced. Yeah, moved up and braced. Fuck. That sucks. I hear ya. All right, fine. Side target. Shoot one of you with the PPC-A and the other with PPC-B. And Got we'll just breach shot both of you. Perfect. More damage. Senses impair. Breaching shot. Fun times. Take damage. And by now, this quick draw has realized, okay, I can't sit over here and be strategic about this because they're still going to do max damage to me. And get through my defenses. Okay. <laughs> Now this quick draw dies, I think. Yeah, let's just advance over here and we'll just destroy the quick draw. Because we've already destroyed, we've already damaged the Jaeger mech. Let's try to just turn the quick draw into slag. And I think we did. I'm seeing enough damage. Oh, we didn't do enough damage. Wow. Enemy mech. Critical damage Surprised. Alright, fair enough. Oh, I still can't do more than that, huh? All right, fine. Location confirmed. That's lame. But oh well. Pump some more LRMs into this bastard. <laughs> we destroyed some of its jump jets. So I've not one. played all the games in the series. Um, East 4 has a couple of different versions. There's Dawn of East. Oh shit, a Warhammer. Okay. <laughs> that could be a problem. So the first game I played was actually East 3 Wanderers from East for the Turbo Graphics. Then I played this game when I realized how awesome East 3 was, and I thought this was even better than East 3. Dawn of East only came out in Japan, but there's also a different version called Mask of the Sun that I think came out for one of the other, I think came out for PlayStation 1 in Japan, maybe? Uh, but maybe it came out for Super Nintendo. I don't, I don't actually remember. But a mashup of both of those versions called Memories of Salsetta did come out for PS4, finally, after a bunch of other, other iterations. Uh, so anyway, to answer your question, I played East Book 1 and 2. I played East 3. I've played E6 that came out for the PS2. Orders. We're knocking over the quick draw. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Kill the quick draw. E7, I actually bought uh, for Steam, but it doesn't load right. I haven't gotten it to just, I just haven't gotten it to run right. But I own, I own the Steam version. I would love to play 7. I just can't get the fucking thing to run. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what the problem is. Uh, I can even fire it up at the end of stream just to show you guys what I see and be like, does anybody have any idea how the fuck this thing works? <laughs> um, so far, so far that's been a little bit of a challenge. Uh, so no, I haven't played E7 yet. I have played and beaten E8, which is to this point still my favorite of the series. 
and that came out for PS4 originally. I'll be playing that on PS5. So once I get my PS5 attached to, um, connected to Twitch, I'll be streaming that like, ooh, there were, oh, okay. I thought, I thought I got that. Oh, okay. Well, we'll try it again. <laughs> we'll get it next time. We're picking up that, hot, that Warhammer for sure. Jump. Yeah, we'll jump. Jump. Just to make my life a little easier. Again, I wish I had multi-shot because I could have shot this with the small lasers and shot this with everything else. Yeah, I'm really having some buyer's remorse with the multi-shot on that. Big time. That will probably... Yeah, that's going to be more special. This thing's not going to survive this. Boom. It did... We didn't destroy the Angermic? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. We didn't destroy the Ergovac, folks. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> oh, now it'll die, though. It'll, behemoth, will, behemoth will clean up. <laughs> I can't believe that shit. That's so funny. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's go for the other leg. Fire. Why not at this point? Yep, both legs destroyed. So that works. It's fine. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't destroy Tango the fucking Jager <laughs> Uh So yeah, East 8 Lacrimosa of Dana is, is my favorite. Beat that. I'll be playing that on, on my PS5. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's just knock it over. Why not? We'll knock over the Warhammer. It'll be fun. But just for the shits and giggles, let's aim for the head. <laughs> I don't think we'll hit the head. Wow, we got the head! <laughs> Take that, Warhammer. Good work, Commander. I signal our employers that our operations are safe for now. So that's nice. East 9 is uh, Mostrum Knox. Played that, beat that. That was also for PS4. We're playing that for East, uh, or for. for on PS5. Uh, and East 10 Nordics is coming out in like two weeks. So Seraph will be playing a shit ton of that uh, <laughs> offline. I'm just going to play that offline first because I'm going to be playing that every fucking day <laughs> until I beat it. I may actually take a week off work to play that during the day. I, it, it, uh, I'm looking forward to playing that. <laughs> and that way it won't take away from, from anything else. Uh, I'll just be able to do that with, uh, I'll just take that off work and just play that. <laughs> Get back to a normal lifetime. All right, we completed our Warhammer. Yeah, we'll complete the Quick Draw too. Why not? I don't think we got anything else good. So I am looking forward to doing that. A friend of mine, uh, uh, he shows up here. Uh, did you mention East Origin? So I have East Origin. I just haven't, I haven't beaten that um and that's the one that chronologically takes place first in the series that takes exclusively i think that takes place exclusively um in the mega dungeon of east one darm tower uh, so there's see so yeah, i got that's east providing. origin i think chronologically the way it works is it goes that's east origin east book one and two then east Four, and then East three. No, I think uh, then yeah, then East three, then East five. No, god damn. Uh, then East six or no East six I think takes place later. Oh god, I forget the actual chronological order. They bounce around all over the place. Um, but no, I didn't mention East Origin, but that does take place. F that is the first first. Uh, game, um, entry in the series chronologically. Oath of Fulgana is a remake of 3. It is the quote-unquote more canon version. Uh, and that's available on Steam. That version I like, I haven't actually beaten that. And I keep talking to Freakbot about whether or not I should play East 3 for the Turbo Graphics, or if I should just play Oath of Fulgana um, and beat that for the first time on stream. Uh, I feel like Oath of Fulgana is the more entertaining option but 
the fact that I've never beaten it does generate some anxiety. <laughs> But they did a really nice job with Oath of Felgana. It's a beautiful game. It uses the same engine that was uh, developed for E6. And is the same engine that Falcom used when they built uh, and designed the Trails in the Sky series. That's a really co uh, popular RPG series. And there are tons of trails. There's Trails of Cold Steel. There's Trails in the Sky. I don't think I generated any damage. We could just do another contract here. Uh, I guess the question is, do I do a contract or... Do I, you know what, let's, let's go to the star map. I think at this point, because we're not buying anything else. Let's go to the mech bay. And let's refit you. Let's substitute the other ER medium laser. Yep. Take out this ER medium laser. We'll put in the one we just bought. Woohoo. I guess it doesn't really matter, but Seraph's OCD is going to kick in. <laughs> I can't help it. <clears throat> oh, good grief. I wish it would just do that so I wouldn't feel compelled to do that, but whatever. Uh, all right, so we did that. Is there any other equipment we bought that we wanted to put in here? I don't think there is. We could actually put in that leg mod. I could put this double heat sink over here and we could put this plus 15 DFA damage in here. I just don't know if I like the idea of doing death from above because you take damage from doing death. Oh, sorry, death from above attacks. Uh, if you jump and you land on a mech, you can actually literally jump on it like Mario and do a shit ton of damage. Um, yeah, I would say that. Falcom is a great developer. Um, Trails of Cold Steel 1 is my favorite of the Trails series. Trails of Told Cold Steel 2 is, is good but not great. Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4, to me, I don't feel like those needed to be two separate games. They should have just made that a trilogy and just made it one game. And I've got, I've got some various issues with it, but it does tie it all together. Kai Parasite was playing through the Trails games. At some point, um, I don't know if I would play through them again on stream, but maybe maybe one of these days I will. Only because Trails of Cold Steel 1 is just such a fantastic game. It might be worth playing the rest of them just to play one again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Falcom's a... I do think they're, they're a great developer. They're kind of a small developer, though. So the later on, like those Trails games, they only vocalize in the localizations like a third of the text. So some of the games are voiced and the rest of it just turns into text, which can be a little discombobulating for people. Um, so as long as you go in there knowing that they don't exactly have some of the budgets of the bigger developers, it's just one of those things. But for ages, I actually thought Falcom fell off the face of the earth because we went like 10 years before we got a release of any of their games in the States. It wasn't till, um, was it till I saw Trails of Cold Steel and uh, actually, so it's funny, I got Trails of Cold Steel 1 without knowing it was a Falcom game. Uh, until I saw the opening, you know, sequence and I'm like, oh, cool, they're still around. And then there are in, east, inside jokes in it. I'm just like, this is this is brilliant. This is great. <laughs> we are done with Highlander modifications. Yes, I don't think we have anything else to do here. Uh, I don't have a better LR, uh, SRM 6 yet to put in this guy. I think we're done here. I mean, I could put in a, I, yeah, I really, I, I'm not putting in a small pulse laser. Uh, it's just, it's just not worth it to do at this point. So our modifications here are minimal. I don't think there's anything to do with any of the uh, other modifications no. Shouldn't be too because hard. we bought some extra PPCs that were that. We did buy the one ER medium laser. I think we theoretically could put an ER medium laser on something else if we really wanted to, but I don't think it's really worth doing. At some point, we could put a medium pulse laser into an atlas. That would be a um, a modification that would make a little sense. But at this point, it really doesn't. They're not paying us to go somewhere else, so we may as well go. Oh, they are giving us uh, a travel contract to Ryan's fate. Did I miss that? Although I don't know if I like the idea of doing it. Oh, it's down here at the prisoner. Hmm. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's go up to the star map. Forget that. Let's just go to Mechter because we could do some missions there and there's going to be a black market. Roger Let's cruise there and see what we've got. 
But yeah, I would I would say that's fair. I do I do like most, most Falcon yeah, games. They do a man. really nice job, especially their RPGs. Hey boss. One of these days I got to get back to playing Ah, Gammapod is up uh, is up to date. So, there is a game that is was a half US release. <laughs> I affectionately called uh Tokyo Xanadu. It's a mix between Trails of Cold Steel and East, but at the time I had just finished playing East 8 like twice and I was just a little burnt out of it. Freakbot was streaming that and it was a little too text heavy for him. <laughs> I don't think he's ever going to Tokyo Xanadu. So one of these days I should just play Tokyo Xanadu and get through it. I've got it for PS4. It should play on the PS5. Uh, so once I, again, once I join my PS5 uh, to my Twitch account, assuming I do that and I don't just get a capture card for the computer that's down there, and just capture the PS5 through the capture card. I might just do that. Uh, that way I could just set up OBS on that computer and I'd have my more traditional layout and I could just hook up another webcam down there. It won't be as good as my setup up here. That's my kind of research station. So one of the reasons why I've got a decent... So I ended up getting building the computer I have for uh, doing qualitative uh, studies. Why am I on this? Am I already going? Am I already going and I just forgot? Oh, right. I'm going to navigation. I'm going to engineering for ship upgrades. That's what Seraph's doing. Seraph just totally forgot what he was up to. So now we could do recreation. We could upgrade the last training module. I think we'll do that actually. All right. Because we are getting right some away. extra pilots and we're running into caps with that. Once that final training module is up, then we'll get to the rest of the recreation. Uh, but yeah, Tokyo Xanadu. I should play some Tokyo Xanadu. So the dungeons play like East, but the rest of the game runs like an RPG a la Trails of Cold Steel. It's very, very text heavy. <laughs> it's very text heavy. And, uh, but that doesn't really bother me. Uh, Trails of Cold Steel is also very text heavy. One issue with streaming Trails of Cold Steel is there is a scene in Trails of Cold Steel 3 where one of the antagonists has a very awkward scene with one of the other antagonists. It's, 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 it's just, it's creepy and awkward. Um, so it's, it's one thing to like recommend it to someone to play and be like, yeah, there's going to be a very awkward, uncomfortable, because it kind of just goes on and on. And it's just, it is, it's just, it's uncomfortable. Um, I mean, the point is that they make the they make the antagonist not likable. I know why they do it. You really, really hate that antagonist after that. It's like, yeah, fuck, fuck this bitch, <laughs> fuck this creeper bitch. But at the same time, New you still have to system. like see it. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I don't. That's the only hesitation I would have. To yeah, we'll do a comp system. We'll buy. System. Why not? So that's one of the things the next time I talk to Kai online when he's playing those uh, I may have to warn him about that so he can make an informed decision of whether or not he wants to play the whole things I might just play Cra Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 online and stream it uh, But then call it a day after 2 because 2 does end okay uh, And then just not bother with 3 and 4 um, But anyway, so you can make an informed decision of whether or not uh, You want to do that or not or for anybody with any kind of trigger warnings with that, be like, yeah, okay, maybe pass on on that. But Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 are great. Uh, it's unfortunate that they just... Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right. So, hmm. Okay. We may have to stick around here and get this because that is a fantastic gauze rifle that weighs less than two tons okay we have our mission if we choose to accept it we are going to do some missions we are getting that gauze rifle we are getting that gauze rifle <laughs> yum 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 okay let's do this hot landing first we'll make some money and then, yeah, okay, good. We've got some good ones. Ah, uh, all right. Well, you know what, though? We might actually, what we could do is we could do a favor of regret, take the uh, mission against the pirates, and then we'll do hot landing. 
and then we'll do the yeah we got this we've got this we've got this we got a pirate mech lance this is just a patrol okay yeah we're we're gonna do some missions we're gonna make some sea bills and we're buying that gauze rifle because that opens up some interesting possibilities because with the gauze rifle taking up less weight we might want to substitute some of those support weapons with the pulse lasers instead now i still think i would rather have the er small laser for the extra range but it it just it adds possibilities let us see let's yeah let's do this high tonnage pirate lance will shortly make panifold planetfall at the behest of a group of petty notables and corp commercial interests intel suggests this is a vanguard of a larger force of conventional tanks of infantry and they're scouting the region for a suitable landing site. We need a competent mercenary company to intercept the mechs and stop the invasion before it gets underway. If their planetside allies send any support, you are to wipe them out as well. So there's going to be reinforcements. Shit, if you're going to give me that kind of paltry... Yeah, all right, fine. We'll, we'll do this. That's fine. That's fine. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I could have sent the quick draw into salvage and sold it. We will definitely be doing that. All right, Deep Fry, good seeing you, man. Uh, I really appreciate it. Have a good sleep, and we will see you on the next one. Have a good one, buddy. Oh, I didn't realize it was 11 o'clock. Uh, yeah, we're probably just going to chill and do some extra. We're not going to do any campaign uh, missions after this point anyway. We're just going to try and farm for sea bills and get this gauze rifle. Although, depending on how it goes, I might just do this one mission and then just do a bunch of missions off stream just to farm for sea bills and... Uh, purchase the gauze rifle at the start of next stream. I may do that um, just just for the sake of it, just for the sake of time, time management. But we'll see what happens here. So let's deploy this. Ooh, I got a decision to make on that Warhammer too. On one hand, the Warhammer is a really nice mech that can really put a lot of damage and hurt on an enemy. On the other, it just isn't as well armored as the damage it warrants. So it tends to attract a lot of enemy fire. Warhammers tend to take a lot of damage. It, it works for, better for me for a backup mech than um, than a primary mech, at least at this stage of the game. Man, this seems like a rough fight. We'll be the shield that blocks the head of the spear. Any support units do make a showing. Only engage if you're in a good position after dealing with the mechs. Yeah, there's this is gonna be a shit show. But I think we're gonna we're gonna handle this, okay? Enemies detected in the area, Commander. Intel reports that the pirates sent a pretty serious lance of mechs. Also, keep an eye out for harassing units from the locals. Here we go. Let's take a look here. Damn. I bit my tongue earlier today, and the fucking thing still hurts like a goddamn bitch. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> it is just really annoying. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, fine. We'll go into the woods then. We got a Marauder. We got an Orion. That's a problem. To position. Uh, yeah, let's go into the woods and take next to no damage. The only thing that helps is that I've got a fuck ton of evasion. So it should still be hard for them to hit. Yeah, you need to get over there. <laughs> I want to be Location set up in a different confirmed. formation here. All right, but since we're fighting them this fast, that means... We should avoid getting completely. Yeah. Actually, cool. Let's yeah, let's fire on these guys before they even get a chance to go. Yep. Let's put a lot of lead into the Marauder. Definitely. You know, I'll get right on that lemon and salt, Ghosty. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking troll! <laughs> oh my god, yeah, let's put a lot of that damage. Let's just focus that damage, because they're going to go in a second anyway. I want to maximize the amount of damage I do to that location. Good, we already breached its armor. Now the fucking Marauder is going to get to go, and it's probably... Oh, wow. I... Good. Well, then let's jump. Make it harder for them to hit me. Yeah, let's just jump, and we'll shoot the Marauder. Yeah, I'd rather have two evasion pips and hover. Let's see. 
Wouldn't it be nice if we- Oh, ho, 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 nice! Wouldn't it be nice if we just take out this Marauder before the fucker even gets to go? That would be nice. Ooh, we got a shot at this. We have a shot at this. I don't know if we have a, a legitimate shot at this. But we... We definitely have a shot. How much damage is that Marauder taking? Oh, we still have to do 100 points of damage to that location. Yeah, that's that's looking pretty rough. But that's all right. We'll get closer. Maybe we'll knock it over. <laughs> we did knock it down. Take that, Marauder. <laughs> Man, before it even got to go, just getting its ass blasted off. Wow, the Rhine didn't... Oh, the Rhine... So... We're doing, we're able to do this because of the Highlander's cockpit mod. That's the rangefinder. So we can see them. They cannot see us. Standing by. Um, I'm just going to stay put right there because the other two. Yeah, these are not in woods and I don't see a point in going here. Yeah, let's just, let's just fucking attack from here. Fuck it. Yeah. Probably not finishing off the Marauder, but why not? We'll try. Ooh, that's close. Oh, ho, 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 that was close, man. That was close. Done. I think Medusa is going to get a chance to go. Oh, now the Marauder gets to go. <laughs> well, it got to stand, but boy, did that take a beating before it even got the chance to go. That was like some of the encounters we had when we first started this. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It was aiming at the Highlander and hits the Marauder and hits the head. Well, that's all right. We certainly took advantage of a bunch of head hits last last battle. I guess it's only fair it yep. gets a shot at us. Oof. That was that was rough. We must have just missed it by like four or something. Enemy down. No more Marauder. Yeah, now what? <laughs> yeah, what now? <laughs> uh, let's see if I precision strike from here. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go with this. Just in case. Engaging it's still taking damage from all the LRMs. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I've got eyes on hostile. Yeah, here they come. Oh, that demolisher needs to get destroyed in a fucking hurry. What can I do for you? All right. Well, ooh. Uh, all right. Well, Medusa could shoot at that next time. Oof. That's brutal, man. That is brutal. Well, we're definitely not shooting with all those PPCs. I don't know if I should even shoot at these with that, with that kind of. Yeah, let's just shoot one PPC here. See if we can Time hit it. Die. Mostly just wanted to wear, it, wear off that evasion pep. Although maybe I could have reserved just to see what the Orion did. Man, now they're getting all the head hits on me. The game giveth and the game taketh away. <laughs> Good grief. So one of the interesting things about your mech warrior, in this case, Renegade, uh, your mech warrior is actually immortal. You cannot die. So that's, that is the good. One of the negatives is, um, Actually, that's, there's really no there, there's really no negative. I was going with that for that. Uh, that's one of the positives. So that's useful. So even if the head gets destroyed, you're not losing a pilot. You put a lot of XP in. Any of my other pilots, on the other hand, if they took like, say, an AC 20 to the face, very, very good likelihood they die. It's almost a guaranteed kill. There's technically a roll at the end to see if they actually die or not. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna whittle away some more evasion here as these guys get closer. Ooh, we might get a critical hit here. Oh, we lost it lost its evasive. Even better. Oh, but now it gets to go. Figures, whatever. <laughs> yeah, quick draws do pack a punch, but they overheat really quickly, especially if they start jumping around. We got another Lance incoming. Oh, that PPC carrier could really... Wow, okay. Let's, uh... All right, let's, let's move over here. The Archer is going to deal with those vehicles. At least I could fire at that. God, I almost don't know what's worse. Yeah, let's go for this guy. Roger. Yeah, let's maneuver over here. Since we got bogeys coming in up that way. Let's torso twist a little bit. So even if they do show up, it's not the end of the world. So you strike the quick draw now. Now let's try and take it out. That's the beautiful part about the Highlander. I could do a lot of damage at a lot of really good range. Thanks to those ER medium lasers. Good. So there's still one more unit of this out here that we haven't discovered yet. I've been sensor locked. Waiting for orders. Let's go up here. Coordinates received. And let's try. Even though it doesn't work in our favor very often, but let's try to take out the Orion by the head. It uh -huh. would be nice. Wow, we didn't hit the head once. Damn. Would have been nice. Oh, a thunderbolt. Why, thank you. That works. Sure. Shoot the Atlas, the most well-armed thing out here. Ace. I can only shoot that anyway so let's give you a little more stability damage if i knock over the orion maybe we could set up a headshot for glitch oh right i jumped over so i lost sight of them that's okay once i get to go again renegade will jump back i'll be able to detect those guys and uh, Medusa will be able to take another shot at the you PPC nothing, carrier. You hear me? Reserve. This is okay. Yep. All those vehicles up there. Good grief. Jump. Jump back over here. Ooh. Almost feel like. Oh, let's go with this. Engaging jump jets. Main problem is, oh, I can't, these guys moved around. I can't detect them now. Shit, I needed to move over more a little bit. That's okay. Let's see what goes on here then. You know what? Fine. Let's, let's just precision strike the Orion. We'll do a decent amount of damage to it. Perfect. Cord it. Right decision. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> that is going to be a problem. Yes, Commander. Fine. We'll move over here. May as well move over here. On it. Fire. And the rims. Let's wait and see what happens. Because the Thunderbolt, again, once you do enough damage to that center torso, ammo explosion time. We won't even have to get through the whole thing. 
We just need a critical hit. Although I may go for the head hit just because it's out here. <laughs> I'm showing minor damage. Good to go. Is it really worth it to try or do I just keep shooting at it? I might just move up here. Yeah, let's try. On my way. I think I'm just going to shoot it with a PPC and a um, and an EC5. The exchanger does help us shoot it twice, though. So you know what? Fuck it. Since we can do it twice. Yeah, let's just go. Roger that. Firing this is probably target. stupid, but... It was stupid. It was a waste of a precise shot. Orders. Yeah, they usually don't hit. Uh, ooh, you can shoot... Oh, this is what I should have saved a precise shot for. Oh, well. Nice job, Seraph. <laughs> it's okay, both both auto cannons hit. And we blew off its torso. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, she hit with a lot more than just uh with just half. She hit with like 90% of those weapons. That was a good attack roll. That Thunderbolt really regretted its life and decisions to bring it to this point. Well. Yeah, knock Ready it down. Orders. Yeah, knock it down. We have a choice to knock. We have a chance to knock it down. Knock it down. Confirmed. Plus, we're probably going to blow. Yeah, I was going to say, we're probably going to blow off its arm. Now we get to knock it down. Yeah, this this Thunderbolt got its ass kicked. It showed up late. I mean, it's only luck is that I didn't get a head hit on it. But those are low percentage shots usually anyway. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah. It's not really going to matter. Shoot the AC5 and just finish that thing, please. Special deliver. Should have run when you had the chance. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if I go there, oh wow, okay, or I could go here and shoot multiples. All right, fine. Go here. Oh, choice of two. fucking PPC carrier is a real problem. Uh, depending on where it hits. All right, let's shoot the PPC carrier and try and kill it. If we hit this location, it's toast. So we got a chance. Good, we got it. Hit it in just the right spot. And then Medusa can shoot the other one. Fucking SRM carrier. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, the SRM carrier got to shoot. And it got to shoot at a at a single arc. Oh, <laughs> that was terrible. Receiving you. Alright, you little bastard. Guess what's gonna happen now? You're never gonna get to do that shit again. Thank goodness for the gyro. A lot of those missiles were actually missing. Yeah, just in case the autocannons miss. But I don't think the autocannons missing. I think the autocannons hitting and the auto as long as the autocannon hits, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, we only needed it to hit once. Good. It'll never do it again. <laughs> Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Bastards. Uh, Alright, so perfect. Yes. And open fire on that bulldog. Please and thank you. That's a lot of missiles, man. That's just a lot of missiles. Yeah, I think this is gonna be our, our last uh our last one. I'm actually wide awake, but um Oh damn. That's a lot that's a lot of fire the Atlas just took. But it's alright. 
now it dies. Game over, Demolisher. You managed to get your shot in. You had your fun. It's over now. <laughs> That should blunt any enthusiasm for further attacks into Restoration Territory. Fucking A right it will. So overall, good stream. We uh, we succeeded at every one of our missions. Uh, only one of which did the enemy even do like any amount of damage that required, that necessitated repairs. So we're getting further into the campaign. We're getting better. Our pilots are getting better. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll take... Marauder Salvage. We like Marauder Salvage. I probably will take that AC-10 unless there's... Yeah, all right, I'll take the plus 10 damage. Unless there is a really good SRM-6, which there is not. Now, they're really giving me a lot of these uh, targeting computers. I don't remember getting all of those. We did get some good SRM-4s. Not bad. Not bad. Successful all around. So we're going to save. We'll quit. Uh, we'll see who we want to raid out to because I'm still wide awake. May as well hang out with somebody once we get this uh, really fired up here. Uh, my plan is to stream again Thursday night just because, you know, being out so much at the end of... Ah, Lady Arano's contract to repair the Torian assault on Panzer is ready for review in the command center. That, that defense mission is also pretty bananas, but it's more manageable, in my opinion, than the Smithen one is. So we should follow up when you think we're ready. That we will do. Uh, all right, let's 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 spend the XP before I forget, before the next time Waiting we go. For orders. Waiting for orders. Sure. Training confirmed, Commander. Waiting for order. Commander. Commander. Uh, Oh, yeah, I'm now injured, so I'm going to have to send other people in. So that part kind of sucks. We'll go Tech with plus three hit defense. Complete. I'm here. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, what a lucky head hit. That really sucks. Oh, well, uh, mech bays. A little bit of bookkeeping here. Oh, yeah, let's send the quick draw down. Do I send the war hammer down? Because I don't... Uh, or do I keep the Warhammer as like a backup mech? Because the, the Warhammer does function well as a backup mech. Although at this point, if I'm sending in a backup mech, I'm probably sending in the Victor and not the Warhammer. Although I could keep the Warhammer and the Victor as backup mechs just in case two mechs get damaged, but I still want to do missions. These are at least reasonable. And then this is a very specific very specific purpose. You know what? We'll we'll do that. Renegade's going to be out of action for 12 days, though, so I'm going to have to come up with... Uh, we're going to have to do some shuffling, because we definitely want that gauze rifle. We'll see how it goes. But in any event, let's save. Perfect. Saved. And now we can quit the desktop. So we did just save, so we're good. Plus, the game auto-saves at the very end. Anyhow, uh, so anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's forward to the ending stream here as we figure out what's going on here. Uh, my plan at the moment, Thursday night, we'll see if that that plan actually comes to fruition or not, because we all know as we go through the week, uh, sometimes things change and all that. So we'll we'll see. I am tentatively aiming for Thursday night, uh, and we'll see if that happens. As usual, I'll confirm on Twitter. Um, whether or not I do or not. And as always, I probably should do this at the beginning of my stream. So I got to start getting into the habit of this. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, do the whole, you know, like, subscribe, for no, no, no. Uh, and if you've been watching on Twitch and you just tuned in, uh, feel free to follow. Uh, it's free. That's the nice part about that. That way you always know when I'm going live and all that whole, you know, shebang. Uh, the old, the old, <laughs> the old yada, yada, yada. And I will definitely be playing on Sunday night. And if I don't play on Thursday night, there is a possibility that I play on Thursday. As we kind of talked about in a bunch of these, there are a bunch of games that I kind of do want to play that would be fun to do. At some point, I would like to play Final Fantasy VI. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, Ghosty. <laughs> you were like one of the first people to give me a follow. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, 
Dr. Ghosty. <laughs> well, right, not a doctor. Lemon and salt. But you know, I gotta go downstairs and put some lemon and salt on my tongue. Uh, I'll get right on that, and I'll I'll, I'll give I'll, I'll give you a heads up to see how that how that goes. Let's see who's on Twitch here. Uh, oh, Cobra Command is playing. Uh, I wonder what she's playing. She's playing retro of something. So we'll we'll probably raid out to her. Uh, Cause Kai's playing Final Fantasy. And Darkstar is playing Final Fantasy, and I don't want to spoil myself on Final Fantasy. So Cobra Command it is. Let's, uh, if I can just navigate this whole streaming thing. Because I keep it, I keep my browsers closed while I'm gaming. That way there's, my computer isn't, uh, completely multitasking and all that. Plus, I notice Twitch tends to get cranky when, when, uh, when uh, I have, uh, for whatever reason, when I've got Twitch going in the background. So whenever I start streaming, I kind of shut down my other streams as well. But anyway, so I'm gonna, we're going to raid Cobra Commander. I want to thank everybody who came out. I will see you approximately later since I can't specify to myself whether it will be Thursday, Saturday, or Sunday night. But in any event, everybody, I hope you have a great rest of your week. And until the next one, I hope uh, everything goes... Uh, splendidly, and until next time, ciao! What did you do, Maggot? Uh, I was like, Magus. <laughs> I heard puns, and I assume it's.